Hello everybody and welcome to the Ready for Departure channel. Today we are at the edge of the runway 06 center and 06 right. Your hosts today will be Alex and Eldar and we are trying to cover for you the morning departures and arrivals of Moscow Sheremetyevo Airport. Right now. Right now we are seeing the Boeing 777 uh, on the holding position and it's taking and it's taking its destination to Hurghada, Egypt. So and we have a landing. Let's see the landing from this position. It's our first stream from this spot and we see the heavy uh, Airbus A330 of the north wind. Let's see its touchdown. Oh, it's pretty great. So loud. Let's see how the touchdowns are from this position. And I'm pretty sure that it should be very, very interesting to watch. Slight crosswind, but right now it's a almost butter landing. So beautiful. I like this. Okay, so I will uh, cover for you the filming of, of another camera and we have Eldar coming back to the camera and we will both will be telling you about these glorious movements. Let me make this departure as well. So you feel free to ask us any question in the chat. We would love to chat with you, to see your comments, hit the like button and enjoy us the stay with us for the nearest three hours. So good, gorgeous. Let's it rotate. Where is the rotate, man? I want to see the rotate from this position as well. I think it's my new favorite spot right now. Eldar, what do you think about this spot? Yes, it's very cool. Uh, it's better than uh, our spot on the runways. Uh, uh, two for right, uh, two for left, and two for center. Uh. Yeah, it's quite nice. We don't have that panoramic view over the terminal here, but anyway, we see the another Airbus or Boeing. I can't Boeing see from here. Boeing 737. Yes, from this position on the Bravo, uh, not Bravo Six, Alpha Six. I don't know. I really, we have. To, uh, I help to understand which the holding position is this and Eldar will tell you about to which destination this one is going on. Okay. Now we can see a Boeing 737 uh, standing on a holding point runway uh, 06 center and it's going to Stavropol. Uh, this airplane is nine years old and let's see its takeoff. Tower approved its uh, takeoff. Okay, guys, we are with you. I will check the chat in a second after the next landing that we have right now behind us. Hello, Scott. Hello, Blake Riley. Morning to you as well. Looking for the, forward for the show. Yeah, we too. So we expect a lot of interesting air, airplanes from this position. And Alexei Kuznetsov, hello to you as well. Now we can see the landing of an Airbus A320 or 21, I don't know now. Uh, and it's going to land on a runway 06 right. Uh, we don't have information about its uh, uh, flight because we have a problem with flight radar in Moscow. Oh, it's A320. Yes, it's A320.
Okay, let's see the Boeing 737 taking off and going to Stavropol. So, Ilder, what do you think about the weather today? What can we expect the from the wind? weather today is uh, cold <laughs> and uh, wind uh, is on runway uh, 06. Uh, landing on runway uh, 06 right right now and the takeoff uh, uh, from the runway uh, 06 center uh, I think uh, it will be a change there may be a change so maybe we will, yes we will be it will be closer cool to and uh, beautiful oh it's a quite far takeoff yeah because uh, it's uh, took off from uh, the center of runway Middle. yeah and another airplane coming yes this is an airbus a320 of airflot and let's see where it goes it goes the landing soon oh yes before its takeoff we have a landing let's see it This is a Boeing 737. Let's see from which airline. Oh, this is a Pobeda Airlines. It's Russian low cost airline like Ryanair. They have only Boeing 737 in their fleet. Oh, the landing was quite hard. Pobeda hmm, always <laughs> make landings hard. And let's see the takeoff of an Airbus A320. And it goes to Novosibirsk. It's flight uh, 1460. Uh, on this flight, I'm going to fly in in one in one week. Uh, uh, on Saturday, uh, 11th of November, uh, uh, I'm going to fly by the retro flight of Airflot, and uh, uh, this is uh, this flight, and it will be retro flight uh, on 11th of November, uh, and I will uh, uh, record a, a trip report from this flight. And I think it will be cool and interesting for you. As interesting as the previous your retro flight on Nizhny Novgorod, which we are awaiting still. Yeah, guys. We have a technical problem with uh, files. Now. Really? Yes. Okay. And, uh, yeah, guys. But we, uh, guys, we have uh, two flight reports um, coming. Some when? <laughs> what? This airplane will be landing much more earlier than those flight reports will be on our channel. <laughs> okay, it's another Boeing 737 of Pobeda Airlines landing on a runway 06 right. Oh, it's an interesting livery. It's a Kaliningrad livery of Pobeda. It's very beautiful. Pobeda has only three or four, I don't know, three or four liveries on their aircraft. Uh, it's beautiful. We have Kaliningrad, uh, Mineralne Vody and Murmansk uh, and one another, I think, or no. Pobeda has three or four I liveries. Guess it's Murmansk, Stavropol, Kaliningrad. Not Stavropol, Stavropol, yeah, no, it's Mineralne uh, Vody. No, it's okay. Uh, and that's it's all. <laughs> I think it's that's all. It's very different cities. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, but I, you understand what I'm I meaning. Yes. Well, guys, if you would like to see 
uh, to know interesting stories about the different liveries of the world you can join our membership because in the community of all we are making the posts about different air liveries and the stories behind those liveries right now we are finishing with the aeroflot and soon we will proceed i guess to maybe pobeda then s7 and then go all around the world for the different companies valentina liver hello welcome to our channel oh we have a landing permission Yes, right now we can see the Smart Avia Boeing 737. Let's see its landing. Smart Avia is a company from St. Petersburg. Oh, the landing was hard, very hard. Boeing 737 is difficult airplane to land. And let's see the takeoff of an Airbus A321 of Airflot. It's going to Nizhny Novgorod and it's eight years old. This flight to Nizhny Novgorod is uh, uh, 1220. Uh, uh, I was flying on this flight on Retro Flight 2 uh, in two months ago or more. Yes, and I'm making now trip report from this flight. We have uh, some technical problems and uh, soon we will. Uh, editing it and I okay guys tell us how is your morning today what are you going to do maybe you are going to plane spotting or watching the plane spotting because right after our stream you can proceed we will redirect you to lisbon airport they are expecting the huge storm uh, today and it will be great for the cross landings and from there for the rains so don't leave our stream because at the end you will be redirected and you will uh, enjoy another part of the world in Europe, the Lisbon airport. And right now we are expecting some kind of landing, but we have to check how many interesting airplanes are coming our way. So after this one, I will come back and tell you our schedule for I think today. It's, it's heavy. Yes, it's Boeing 777. Let's see the landing of a Boeing 777. It will be very cool. Uh, let's see from which airline. Oh, it's Airflot. A Boeing 777 of Airflot. It's very beautiful. Named after Barclay de Tolly, uh, I flew on this aircraft from Phuket to Moscow. It was very cool flight. It was nine hours flight, but it was cool. Airflow service was great. We are waiting the Phuket flight report as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many flight reports coming, <laughs> but they guys they are really hard to edit and to uh, make a good video. Yes. So we have like 19 people in our chat ah, because the whole world is sleeping, I guess. So welcome everybody. If I remember, Blake Riley is from United Kingdom, I think. Scott, it's a probably Russia. Let uh, tell us where are you from so we do understand but I promised to give you a schedule of our show today so let's check what are we expecting 
So right now it was ah it was from Delhi. Okay, seven 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 from India. Any Indian viewers in our channel? So you can show yourself right now. And what's next? Let us check. Okay, we will have a Yeri one or not? I wonder. No, I guess it's it's not on the way. Uh, we will have Irkutsk 777 just in... Uh, ah, it's already landed. But when? We were walking and I can't recall the 777 landing over our, our head. Ufa landed as well. We saw this one. Okay, Delhi here. 77 oh we will have the cargo air china cargo pretty yeah. soon in an hour i guess yes air china cargo the boeing 777 that's cool we will have another 77 from antalya and lots of small airplanes 77 from yuzhna sakhalinsk from khabarovsk but i would love to see the 350 350 but I guess it's not today in our schedule because it's only the next one is 1 p.m. Uh, I think that will be our last airplane. I, I think it will be from Tashkent. We still don't know about any cargos like illusions or stuff. But we will check. Maybe there will be some kind uh, of airplanes coming our way from Novosibirsk as usual. Okay. Oh, Sydney, Australia. Sorry, man. Uh, but it's great to see Australia here on our channel from the very hot Australia to the very cold I guess uh, Russia, but we have a landing man So Okay, let's see the landing of an Airbus A321 of Aeroflot Okay, nice touch down. And let's see what we have on the runway 06 center. And we have there an Airbus A321, I think. Yes, it's A321. It's going to Mineral Vody and it's six years old. Hello Alvanor 0293 and welcome to our channel. Blake Riley, you have a really outstanding guys in the Sydney seat squad I guess and they are making a really great show over the Sydney airport and I think it's not just the Sydney airport, they are traveling all around Australia. So you are quite lucky to have those, uh, those guys uh, for their what they are doing. We have 20 people aboard. Welcome everybody to the Moscow Sheremetyevo Airport for the morning traffic of landing to the 06 right and takeoffs from 06 center. And we have another airplane coming our way. If you remember that we have a huge problems with the flight radar to determine what airplane is coming our way, but we will try to understand and identification, make, make identification just live with you together. Okay, and right now let's see the landing of an Airbus A321 coming our way of Airflot Russian Airlines. I think the touchdown will be nice. What do you think? Touchdown was quite hard. 
And let's see the takeoff of an Sukhoi Superjet 195 of Russia Airlines. Just a second, I will tell you to which destination it's going. It's going to Penza and it's 7 years old. And we can see the Boeing 777 coming our way by the taxi. And I think it will be take off. It's going for take off? I think yes. I hope so because it will be pretty close to us. Oh, or it's the just landed. It's, no? it's the one oh. that landed. It's from Delhi. But anyway, Sad. guys, it's a pretty cool game for Eldar right now without flight radar. Try to determine which airplane coming our way. Airbus, Boeing, three twenty or three twenty one. So each time after the landing, we will see. They try to count how many airplanes Eldar will do the fine and how many failures will be for him. But another landing coming our way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's something beautiful. <gasps> it's World of Tanks livery of Belavia from Minsk. It's very cool. Let's see. Oh, it was very beautiful. Let me take a wild guess. It was Boeing 737-300. Yes. Yeah? You're I right. can recall that World of Tanks have such airplanes. Let us check. I'd like and to check. And then we can see the takeoff of a Boeing 737, but 800 of Airflot. Uh, and... It's going to Tomsk and this airplane is 8 years old. Thank you Blake Riley for telling them about our channel and last stream I think we had some uh, moderator from this channel and he did even join it our channel as a member. So he can try to read uh, interesting stories about the liveries of the airplanes on our community wall. Especially soon we'll be Bel Avia with, the, with this uh, World of Tanks livery, it was pretty, pretty good. I'm finally, really guys, I'm right now happy because on another camera I did a great performance right now, filmed this airplane finally, this livery, because at the end of the year I want to make the compilation of the best liveries and best airplanes we filmed so far this year. And I hope it will be the one of, of this, uh, this airplane will be the part of this video. Can you tell us, do you hear ATC properly? Because we don't want to understand, is it ATC is okay for you? And our sound and the picture, tell us everything about the technical side. Oh, now we have a landing of a... Let me second... Of a Boeing 737 of Airflot Russian Airlines. But it's very bad thing that we still don't have sun right now because with the sun all these airplanes will be shining for you so great uh, that's why on another camera I'm shooting right now on the 50 per frames per second not 100 so the slow motion video will be released not so slow it will be slow but not so very slow because of the uh, light we have here right now
Okay, we still have 22 people on board oh, and that's just the beginning guys, but we have only 10 likes. Please consider to hit the like button because it's showing YouTube that you like what we are doing and it's help us to be spread among the aviator geeks uh, more widely. So that's very help us. I think it's easy to hit the like button. And for Australia it's 5 p.m. so the difference between us is like seven and three ten hours that's cool oh well one or have so many nice emojis that's cool yeah yeah so what we have right now what we, we, have what we are looking for of, uh, any an airbus a320 and uh, then i will show you uh, the landing and then i want to show you the boeing uh, 747 standing on the forest Oh, we can see the landing of a um, Sukhoi Superjet 195 of, I think it's Russia Airlines. Yes, it's Russia Airlines. Oh, the touchdown was nice. Let's see. We can see the two Boeing 747 standing on the runway 06. Oh, so sad. Yeah. This these guys we can see from the 24 cent uh 24 spot. I mean the spot that we are usually using on the hill it is impossible to see these guys from there but from this point from here we can see the parking on the southern terminal and that's pretty sad so it's pretty nice anyway we see the some hangars can you show the hangar so we have a departure? Oh, we have we a have departure. A departure. Okay. Yes, of a Boeing 737 of Airflot. Let's see. Let's check to which place it's coming. Oh, it's to Istanbul. Then I wish I were, I'm on a board of this one because <laughs> today, today, guys, the Istanbul have the official official spotting. Uh, they finally have a great place. Uh, inside the istanbul new istanbul airport and if you reg register and coming there you can easily uh, get a chance to see the greatest landings and stuff but we have a landing again yes let's see which airplane is it it's a boeing 737 Let's see from which airline. I think it's Smartavia. And we can see Alex. Spotting. another camera and making for you a video with slow motion and video of plane spotting by the way guys soon pretty soon I guess we will have a takeoff of Etihad Dreamliner 10 
it's pretty great to witness it from so close distance, not from the oh, hill. Oh yes, we can see its tail. Yeah, where? Yes, near the Pobieda Airlines. Yeah, here. and that's a little part of the yes, tail. Yes, just little, but... <laughs> I saw the video yesterday of Illusion Eel 96400. Yes, it did make the first flight, but you know the biggest problem. Uh, <clears throat> right now, we finally have this airplane modificated, and it's really great, but they don't have a solid contracts. For example, Aeroflot still had no contracts for this uh, heavy airplane, uh, the long-range airplane. And actually, I don't know what for they did make this airplane. Right now, only two, uh, two aircrafts will be made for the government needs. But it's quite stupid, I think. It's pretty cool. It's a great airplane. I would love to fly this one. But... Honestly, I don't understand why the, to make the airplanes without the contracts. Uh, for example, yesterday when I was uh, digging into the Sky Team livery of Aeroflot, I saw the Aeroflot fleet and the solid contracts in the, for the future. They have like 200 of MS-21-300 and that's cool. Yeah. But they have for somehow uh, Tupolevs, I don't know for what. Because Tupolev uh, 204, I guess it's, or 14, I can't remember properly which one. 14, I think. Uh, yeah, maybe 14. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not that modern as the MS-21-300. And they have like 100 or even more for Sukhoi Superjet new version of only Russian components. And uh, we are looking forward for these two guys. But for Illusion, I don't know. I don't know why they are not making them. So that's uh, very interesting. Uh, of how it will be made, how it will develop, but I do afraid that we won't see much of the illusions flying from, uh, for, I don't know, substitute, I guess, the Boeing 777 or even uh, uh, Airbus uh, 330, 350. We will see. <laughs> huh? No 50, I think. Yeah, 50 is quite, quite modern, quite new, yeah. but the rest of the air float of the heaviest, uh, heavy airplanes of uh, Russia Airlines and Aeroflot are pretty old. They over the 15 years or 10 years, I guess, but Sukhoi Superjets already are 8 years old. And I do remember when the Sukhoi Superjet 100 was just made. And I do remember this disaster in Indonesia when uh, on the... Uh, demonstration flight it was uh, crushed to the ground over the over the mountains but it was a mistake of the pilot actually actually uh, Sukhoi Superjet has a lot of technical problems in the exploitation but not a single uh, disaster with this airplane uh, was made by technical, uh, I mean by aircraft. Most of them was the mistakes of the pilots. So we have almost 40 people on board. Welcome to Moscow Cheremetyevo Airport and we hope you enjoy what you are watching. We are expecting some nice heavy landings on runway 06 right and takeoffs from 06 center. Today is like, I, I don't know, right now maybe plus 5, plus 6 degrees Celsius in Moscow. A wind is quite calm, so I don't think we will see so much crosswind, crosswinds. But I hope we, there will be some, maybe even go go around. That would be pretty cool. Uh, what do we see right now? And oh, Severstal, yeah. See, yes, uh, Mitsubishi CRG uh, uh, 200ER of uh, Severstal Airlines. It's going to Cherepovets, and it's very uh, very small <laughs> because uh, it's a private jet and uh, Severstal bought uh, these private jets and made an economy class on them ah, it's pretty interesting yes Severstal are flying mostly to northern part of Russia I yes. guess to the Arkhangelsk uh, Mirny 
Черепов but мирный, мирный may be too far. Череповец. Новокузнецк, I guess. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. It should take off immediately, I guess. It's so light. Yes. Oh, we see the tail of government airplane or not? Yes. Yeah, it's a uh, illusion, I guess. Il-76. Okay, 35 people on board and I hope everybody joining, uh, subscribing to our channel so they can chat with us. Don't forget to, to hit the subscribe button so the chat will be open for you immediately. And you can tell us from which city are you coming to our channel. And I have to remind you that right after our stream that will last for maybe three hours or so, you will proceed redirected to Lisbon airport. To the airport wings channel and that's very interesting because they are expecting a huge storm coming to the lisbon and uh, as i remember the last time i saw his uh, stream with a storm it was a great spot to see the crosswinds and raining a uh, jet blast uh, of um, of water uh, behind the engines of aircraft so don't leave us, stay with us for the next three hours and after this you will be able to see the airport wings from Lisbon. And right now we see some taxi movements. And what's this, it's Eldar? Uh, it's an Airbus A321 of Aeroflot. Uh -huh. And this airplane going to fly to just a second to Yerevan I would love to go to Yerevan yes and it's nine years old actually the weather is fine yeah. uh, as usually English uh, English teachers teach people the weather is fine yeah it's pretty it's pretty cold uh, but not so cold and uh, not strong wind so we are fine here and no snow today that's pretty cool because uh, we had to walk here like half an hour to this spot from the nearest uh, roadway and there was uh, not so easy to climb, climb here uh, when does it start, start to snow in moscow actually two streams ago uh, i think it was the uh, 90 uh, October 91 oh, 29 there was a snow already it was snowing but right now it's uh, like a warm uh, warm temperature right now I will be back to you in uh, after the landing and I will tell you about the weather and what we expect this winter okay let's see the landing of an Airbus A3 20 or 21 of air float okay this is an a320 Okay, and right now we can see the takeoff of an Airbus A321 of Airflot named after a Russian uh, uh, artist and uh, uh, writer uh, Vladimir Nemirovich Danchenko. I flew on this airplane uh, from Dusseldorf to Moscow in uh, 2018 and uh, from Moscow to Nizhny Novgorod by the retroflight of Aeroflot uh, three months ago or four months ago and now it goes to Kaliningrad let's see or rotate gear up and have a nice flight to Kaliningrad Let's see the crossing the runway of an Airbus A320 of Airflot that just landed. So we do expect the snow actually maybe in a 
two weeks it will be finally full amount of snow and uh, without uh, disappearing for the winter till I guess the late late March so there will be snow pretty soon and actually I would love to, to have a snow for the plane spotting because uh, here in Sheremetyevo it's the best airport for us to live streams because Vnukovo have so many big pauses it's much more different airplanes in Vnukovo but uh, there, will, there will be like 15-20 minutes pause between landings and it's boring for you Let's to see. watch uh, but uh, here in uh, Sheremetyo we have lots of Aeroflots and Aeroflot have a dark blue belly uh, livery on their aircrafts and for us to film this uh, without proper light is not that good because too much noise uh, for the picture and when the snow lies on the ground it's much better because the snow reflects the sunlight uh, <laughs> To the bottom side of the aircraft and it's much more interesting to watch and to film i can make 100 frames per second not just 50 frames per second and that will be cool nice livery which one which one was nice livery right now uh we don't have scott don't which which livery are you talking about we doesn't about? have uh, some special liveries maybe severstal maybe severstal we had Aeroflot, Poveda, Smart Avia. By the way, do we one. can we see from here the super jet burned from Murmansk? Which one was crushed? Oh. I don't know. It should be somewhere at the it, it's terminals. No? no, no, no. It's there. It's it's impossible no, we, to see it no, here. No, no, no. Yes. Only from the upper eleva uh, elevator from the restaurant yes. that we are making the streams at the summer during the summer we will make streams from the roof of the restaurant and it's incredible you can see the whole airport and nice touchdowns or especially on the landings for the 06 uh, right oh open for travel hello man hello welcome back to our channel we'd love to see our usual usual uh, viewers coming back to our live streams uh, for the nice show and today we have a new spot for you not usual uh, hill spot for the 24 runways but we have a nice spot for the 06 and Eldar what do you think about this place what do you like about it uh, I think this spot is very cool because we have uh, airplanes a little bit closer uh, than uh, on the uh, hill yes than on the hill uh, on the runways uh, 2-4 uh, and uh, here we have more traffic on the taxiway and uh, beautiful takeoffs from yeah the runway yeah I think I, I think the best thing about this spot that we are a little bit more far from the glissade right now so we can Pan the airplanes much smoothly and as well the best thing that we can see the takeoffs of heavy airplanes or those airplanes that deciding to uh, use oh, we need a Peter in the chat so he can tell what holding point on the edge of the runway to uh, 06 center he will come back for maybe he's sleeping still the third author of our channel uh, he's at home and he should uh, work with the chat right now telling you meta information and stuff but he's not somewhere maybe he's sleeping he will wake up I'm pretty sure so we can see the takeoffs and we can see the nice nice touchdowns much more closely than we have it from the hill and that's incredible oh we have Peter finally on board that's great Peter can you tell us uh, the holding point for the runway 06 center uh the one that closer to us the edge on the edge and the one that usually they take uh, the small guys taking uh, off from so i don't understand i will understand which uh, holding point it will be and please uh, everybody in the chat or some people in the chat can you write us can you hear the atc uh, talks with the pilots yes you just came and you uh, we always remember about you don't worry about this 
but we thought that you are sleeping. So please, Peter, as planned, uh, give information about the airplanes that are in the camera right now. For example, this uh, takeoff. Don't forget about the meter and other information that I asked you to provide in the chat. So, guys, uh, if to understand, yeah, oh, behind the camera right now, Alex is me and Eldar. We are on the spot near the runway 06 right and center and we are covering for you the true morning traffic uh, our third guy the peter he is in the chat room for from home and he will be your host for today chat activities so stay with us and yes no zero six in work and we are on another spot as you can see and you're missing men a lot you are really miss a lot especially the landing that coming our way so Eldar, and, I think uh, we can oh, see Sky yes, Team. Sky I will, team livery, I will tell you about the Sky Team just in a second after I film this landing. Oh yeah, we have a landing before the takeoff of Sky Team livery. The landing of an Airbus A321, I think Neo of Airflot. Let's see its sound of an engines. Oh, sorry. It was A320, but uh, it was A320, but still Neo. It's quite difficult uh, to uh, say to you, to tell you about uh, the airplane type. Uh, uh, it's uh, A3, A320 or A321 because uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's not very different, just uh, longer than uh, usual A320. So, it was your fail right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, about Sky Team. Tell, yes, yes about Sky, Sky Team, guys. Yesterday I prepared the community wall post for members about the Airflot liveries. Uh, the story behind and yesterday episode was about the Sky Team livery. Actually, everybody will say that Sky Team is not a special livery, it's just a livery of Alliance, but for Aeroflot is right now it's a special one. Uh, at that moment, in Sky Team Alliance is 19 uh, airplane companies, and Aeroflot was inside this list as well, but was disbanded. They agreed on the 24, I guess, of the April 2022. To remove Airflot from or suspend, not remove, but suspend its membership in the Sky Team Alliance. But the airplanes are still flying. We have a four airplanes in Sky Team Alliance in Sky Team livery. I guess it's a two airplanes: Airbus 320, uh, one Airbus 777, and another one is probably a Boeing 737 a, uh, a 800. So. so all of these four airplanes are in Sky Team livery, and you saw just one of them. It was a brief information about uh, what you can write, uh, read in the post if you uh, on the community wall if you consider to join our membership of our channel. Oh, it's going to Perm right now. That's cool. And this Boeing of Pobeda, I think it's going to some nice warm place yes. i hope so and it's beautiful livery mineral wood oh scott boeing 737 is going to take off 737 also? max 8 uh, where is it uh, on the taxiway oh that's cool thank open for travel it's going to almaty uh scott we actually saw this scott landing when we yes. was on the way to this spot right now it was cool it yes, was let's just see over our head plane Yes, yeah, they start. They start. Actually, guys, I still, I still afraid flying a Boeing 737 Max. I don't know. I remember they had the problems with the software, uh, and two, I think, two 737 Max was crashed into the ground by the autopilots, and I still have a little fear flying on this one. 
I would consider flying more Sukhoi Superjet 100 instead of the Boeing 737 <laughs> yeah. Max. I guess <laughs> it's my it's my personal fear. <laughs> oh, this one is going to somewhere as well. <laughs> oh, we have a nice sun. I hope that we will see more sun today. Maybe we are later into the day. Oh yes, you would like to be in St. Petersburg now. That's true, man. That's true. But something happened. We had a chance. We had a chance to play in spot from St. Petersburg today. But actually, it's okay that we are playing sporting from Moscow as well for the 39 people in our chat hello turkey hello ahmed welcome back guys it's really great to see uh, our regular viewers on the chat that's cool okay i refer to samara that's cool peter can you tell us about the meter information and maybe you will uh, tell to the people who maybe don't understand the meter information about the weather right now in the Moscow airport so we will understand what's going on and still uh, okay if uh, our viewers can't say Peter can you tell us do you hear the ATC sounds properly or we have to fix something no landings we have to rest oh Scott it's beautiful anyway from this uh, from this side it looks beautiful but what difference between the 737 MAX uh, and, for example, with the 737-800? Is there a big uh, difference? No, not big. It's like uh, with Airbus, Neo or just ah, A320. Ah, engines? Yes, engines. But uh, why the autopilot was so, had so many problems? Because Maybe so Boeing made an, another autopilot system on this oh, aircraft. So not just engines? Mm, yes. Let's see the landing of an Airbus A320 of Airflot. This airplane named after a Soviet and Russian uh, astronaut uh, Yuri Gagarin. Oh, Yuri Gagarin? Yeah. It's a sad story. The hero that was disappeared in the Soviet Union, nobody knows, was his disaster over the North Pole, I guess, set up or not. Sasha Play, hello. How nice it is that there are foreigners who still do not hesitate to show Russia and are in our country. Well, actually, Sasha Play, we are Russians, so uh, we just uh, trying to cover aviation of Russia to our foreign viewers. We would love to see the to show that Russia is a really great country and we are cool people uh, in the cold weather <laughs> right now. 46 people. Hello and welcome everybody. Please join our chat. Uh, join talking with us by just subscribing to our channel. It's the easiest way. And I have to remind everybody that in a, uh, after our stream will finish, there will be a redirection to the Lisbon airport to our friends from Lisbon to airport wings channel and they will start the stream right after hours with uh, showing you the storm over the Lisbon and rainy weather uh, for the nice takeoffs and landings in the crosswind and rain so for you today it's a pretty cool day because I think right after the airport wings we will have a Madeira uh, he will stream all, all, all day, I guess, and then 
I think Honolulu. I can't remember. We have a pretty, pre, uh, pretty good chain of streams today for the 70 hours. So you can enjoy your fr uh, your time. Brian Morrison, welcome back, man, to our ch uh, channel. And today we are showing you the new plane spotting position. And I think it's very, very great. But I think I see the Eldar wants to sell, tell you something. What? <laughs> I don't know. You, you, you were looking at me that shut up, please. I want to talk to as well. Oh, <laughs> no. What this airplane? Where? Ah, oh, it just came from here. From somewhere. Let's see. We can see the holding point runway 06 center of an Airbus A321 of Airflot. Uh, just a second. We will uh, tell you to which destination it's going uh, Peter uh, uh, hello Brian Peter please tell us the holding uh, names of the holding points for the runway 06 center yes we're and still waiting them let's see it's going to St. Petersburg and uh, it's seven years old okay guys if you have your friends who love aviation please who loves aviation please Tell us, uh, tell them about our stream. So, we want to see 100 people today on our stream. Right now it's a free 33. We had like 50. So please tell everybody we want to break that record. Uh, our record is 69 right now. Coffee number two, for example, I don't drink coffee. Do you drink coffee, Eldar? No. Uh, no? Well, I think I, Peter, Peter, do you drink coffee? Actually, I'm not a coffee guy, but I know that there are people who love coffee. And coffee gives them uh, a energy. power, <laughs> power, energy, the energy to move. That's pretty cool. I just don't, I'm not a coffee man, I don't know. I'm not a tea man as well. i just a water man. Yeah. <laughs> Waterman, Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Aquaman. Then I would love to see the air, aircraft in the Aquaman uh, livery. Why Marvel? I, I hope Marvel will make another movie, another huge movie, and make a contract with some airplanes to make different liveries for this, those. And I think. <laughs> but they will not fly to Russia. And I want Airflot to make a Marvel livery. <laughs> yeah, that would be, that would be cool. Yeah. Oh, Peter, don't drink as well. But we still don't have any inform uh, information about is ITC loud or not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, to, Peter, whom I, to, to whom I'm talking. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe he wrote in the chat, personal chat, something. Can you check? Maybe, but maybe no. we are stupid no, or not. No. no. Today in Helsinki there will be also broadcast with the windy landings. Uh, maybe yes. I I can't I can't remember our chain. I I know for for I know that I redirect to airport wings to Lisbon and maybe he redirects to Helsinki. Yeah, that's true. After after Lisbon, there will be Helsinki. That's 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 right. Oh, Perth, Australia, <laughs> 36 degrees right now. Oh. <laughs> the, the <laughs> that's so great. I would love to plane spot at 36 degrees. We had that experience in the Skiatos with Peter uh, this summer. And you can enjoy the videos from Skiatos, especially the cinematic video and the lots of great jet blasts uh, and land low, low landings. Not that low like here, but very low uh, landings from Skiatos, the European St. Martin Airport. I had an experience spotting on uh, 45 degrees Celsius in Phuket. Phuket, 40, yeah. 35. Uh, uh, that's cool. And Perth, Australia. It was no cool. <laughs> it was good, I think. I'm no. pretty sure. We are still waiting for those videos as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know the Perth uh, city in Australia. It's the western city, uh, western coast of Australia. I have to remind each other that I am a geography teacher 
on my main job so I know something about this and I love Australia uh, when I tell kids about this uh, continent and the country and the Australia is only the one continent beside Antarctica, Antarctica that I still missing by visiting myself I've been in North America in South America in Africa in Eurasia well I right now on Eurasia <laughs> I, I hope so still <laughs> but never I've been to Australia that's sad the following traffic okay we will have another air float coming to Istanbul that's cool okay maybe Scott Scott can you help us can you tell please do you hear any ATC sounds of talks with the pilots I oh. really wonder let's see Gzell oh Gzell is it working or it's just parked uh, we uh. can see uh, lights oh no it's uh, it's not it's another a it's a truck yeah oh no I, I have a fear wait, wait, wait a bit it's parked yeah, it's not in a plastic wrap wrap no I hope so no uh, I hope so yeah and uh, the story about jelly you can also read on the uh, our community walls Oh, I still have a scut on my phone. Let's check. Let's see what we have ex beside the gel. Okay, I I am on the camera right now, and we have a huge Russia Boeing 777, I guess. And that's so cool. We have something white, Nordwind. I am pretty sure this Nordwind will fly to Varadero or Koya Coco or well to Cuba pretty soon that's great what we have more here and Nordwinds oh we have a Pobeda coming our way is it a special livery or not we will see in a minute we have a landing coming to us so please oh we have some kind of I don't know what is this Eldar what is this I don't know it's a part of airplanes <laughs> Let's see the landing cloth and Airbus A320 or 21 of Aeroflot. Yes, of Aeroflot. Let's see, what do you think? Touchdown will be nice or hard? What can we expect of this landing? I think it's a three twenty one or no, it's just a three twenty. So I want some decent heavy takeoff but let's check there is an airplane coming our way and this is the uh, Pobeda and it's a special livery I guess it's a Baltica Pearl, Pearl of Baltica Kaliningrad yes Kaliningrad where is going to parking I, I thought it just landed a few minutes no ago. landed uh, was one hour uh, it's landed but uh, on uh, on starting of our stream uh, uh, and just landed and a mineral wood no to mineral wood no not to mineral wood it uh, was livery mineral wood oh. and uh, we can't see it's on flight but radar but we can see uh huh. 
Boeing triple seven to Nalchik. Soon? That's cool. And why to Nalchik? It's not. Uh... We have a friend from Nalchik. Maybe she's on board. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Maybe. The most isolated in the world. Would love to visit Moscow one day. Big airport. We might have a few planes uh, in the port. It's a flight of Pobeda, but uh, it's Russia. Uh, Boeing triple seven. Right. Ah, it's a mistake. It's, it's a, a mistake, mistake of the and, flight radar. Uh, okay. Uh, this airplane goes to Nalchik. Which one? Uh, Kaliningrad livery of Pobeda. Ah, but it's not a Boeing seven 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 of yes. Russia. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here, if you will come to Moscow, so tell us, and we will show you around the airports, and you can enjoy the plane spotting. You know, for example, after this uh, takeoff, I will show you the what we have here around us, and it's pretty cool. And I like this Pobeda because it's showdown yes. of livery in front of us on the very edge of the holding point. I mean, it's a holding point close to us. We still don't know the name of this holding point, but it looks nice. It's a beautiful. But I think you know the most isolated uh, cities in the world are Siberian cities on the northern coast of Russia, <laughs> because I am pretty sure that nobody nobody flies there or something like that. And I was in long year uh, of Svalbard, a uh, Norwegian city, and it is isolated as well. There are not so many flights to this uh, part of the world. Thank you for. Well, yeah, we love to. We love to see everybody here. I mean, Russia is a heartily welcome to everyone. So, when everything will be all right, please come. It's quite cold, yeah, during the winter, but it's so nice. For example, the Kaliningrad. We are making the flight trip or trip report on Boeing seven three seven nine hundred. Uh, of Russia Airlines, only two aircrafts of in Russia, in, in Russia, in whole Russia, uh, of such aircraft, and we had an experience flying to Kaliningrad two months ago, even less than two months, and it was incredible experience. The Kaliningrad and Zelenogradsk uh, on the coast of Baltic Sea, it's so great. You have to visit some when some some day these cities and it's incredible. We will try to show you in the trip report, so don't miss subscribe to our channel and we hope that everything that we are making and we are doing is okay for you guys and enjoyable. Of zero two, Ring King, what do you mean? Oh, the sound! It's pretty cool. I love this play of plane spotting place. It's not that bad. And we're quite far from the fence, so I hope nobody will bother us. I just need the sunlight. Oh, the fake birds here as well. That's cool. Every, everywhere fake birds. Forty-eight people, guys. Let's climb. Let's climb toward one hundred. We would be more than happy to finally break our record. Everybody, welcome to Moscow Sheremetyevo Airport for the nice morning traffic of landings onto 06 uh, right and takeoffs from 06 center. We really hope that they will change the runways so the takeoffs will be from the 06 right and landings for the center. It will be fun to see, uh, to watch from this point. We are expecting pretty soon the takeoff of Etihad Dreamliner 10, 787 Boeing 10. It's pretty long. And we hope it will be very interesting from that position as well.
And we can see parked Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner uh, Parked uh, Airflot Shell livery On Airbus A321 And the landing Oh, it's Neo Airbus A320 or 21 of air float Neo. It's cool. It's an A320 Neo of air float. Oh, touchdown was nice. Okay, the landing was nice and let's see parked planes. Uh, we can see taxiing of uh, air float Airbus A320 or 21 uh, and it's going to take off in opening minutes. Oh, we see a landing on the distance, yeah. maybe something heavier. Uh, let's a little see. pause in traffic, well we don't know. Let's see. Yeah, uh, Peter, we had a side, uh, such idea why the 777 is going to Nalchik and look li not like a Russia. It's a flight radar mistake, I guess. It's pretty funny. Okay, and it's not heavy. It's an Airbus A320 or 21 over air float. Not Neo. But I think the landing will be nice. What do you think about touchdown of this airplane? It will be smooth or uh, hard? It's an A320. The touchdown was pretty good. You guys we had a technical pause right now and we are back and let's check what we have here Helsinki Sporting welcome welcome my friend Simon hello and welcome to our stream we are changed the position and we are on the opposite side of airport right now on for the 06 runway runways because the runway is another uh, the wind is different right now and it's pretty great position because we can see from from here much much closer the takeoffs the takeoffs and landings it's pretty cool so how is Helsinki today what can we expect on the evenings uh, evening uh, live stream from Helsinki 
because I'm telling people that after my stream they will be redirected uh, they will redirect uh, to uh, Lisbon uh, to the airport wings and after the airport wings there is the Helsinki uh, spotting uh, coming live and tell us what can we expect another moving air 350 I really love that uh, fin air airplane yeah it's even more difficult to identify traffic so Eldar has a game right now I told I told him that uh, he will try to it was very hard take off it's nice very steady With crosswind uh, so let me tell you about the game Eldar has right now he trying to determine exactly the aircraft model uh, that flying toward our way he will not sink any more Airbus A320 or 21. No, he will try to hit the direct uh, exact point of which aircraft is this. After this, uh, he, we will see how many failures or maybe not failures he will have during this stream. That's pretty cool. I think it's parts of airplane because we could see the... Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, air floats livery blue red and uh, but gray. we see the smart target tail yes that's cool so guys everybody please join our chat and tell us where you came from we are very interesting I am pretty I want to see somebody from Africa today so if you are from Africa please tell us about this we have 47 people on board and to uh, to um, to chat with us you have to subscribe to our channel that's all that's pretty easy so it's very interesting and we have a blue skies over us and i hope that over airport there will be blue skies even more pretty soon and it will be much more beautiful for the picture and let's see the takeoff of smart avia boeing 737 800 okay another takeoff of smart avia 737 800 yeah am i correct yes why i don't think they have any other uh, other airplanes in the yeah, fleet no they have uh, airbuses a320 oh, and 21 yes okay oh uh, not 21 just 20. Oh, yes. Helsinki will have today two Boeing 787 coming from Mexico. Damn, I wish Mexico flying our way. They can fly, they don't have any sanctions against us. And from Helsinki it's one hour one hour of flight more. That's that's not so hard. I wonder why they are not flying this way. <laughs> We have, we, have, we have a friend came to us uh, for the uh, to, uh, plane spotting, but he is mostly uh, for photo plane spotting. And I hope we will talk with him about using maybe his photos on our previous previews because <laughs> my stop, stop frames from videos are not that sharp. And he is doing a really great job uh, by making uh, airplane photos. So maybe we will have a, a deal somehow. <laughs> Okay, I need a heavy takeoff. Where is it? Any heavy takeoffs? Let me check. Landing. Landing coming our way, but I want to check any airplanes are ready for takeoff, ready for departure. We have we see another Sky Team actually, and another Smart Tiger coming out. But let's see the takeoff. Uh, the, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, the landing. Where is the airplane? Oh, here is it. And this is an Airbus A320 Neo of Airflot. And let's see its landing.
The landing was nice. Guys, as you can see right now, we have a great moment. We are getting more blue skies right now and the sun coming our way. So the picture is not that flat anymore. We can see the uh, depth for this picture and that's pretty cool. And another Smartavia coming out. Coming out of Smartavia sounds, <laughs> sounds strange. And I have to fix, no, I have to fix the level, I guess, again. No, the level is okay. Let's see the takeoff of a smart Boeing 737 800. And just a second, I will tell you to which destination. Hello, Geraldo. Hello, Brazil. Obrigado for coming. This Smart Avia Boeing 737 comes to Samara. And this airplane is uh, 12, 20 years old. <laughs> Wind in Moscow, 22 km per hour. Helsinki, 22. And Lisbon expected. 30 hour, uh, 30 kilometers per hour. That's pretty cool. Oh, and airport fire truck. We can see. And we can see Airbus A321 of Aeroflot uh, taxiing to the runway 06 center and it's going to fly to Kazan. It's five years old. Oh, Peter told us meta right now, it's a wind 14 degrees and cloud base 300 meters and temperatures 2 degrees <laughs> Amsterdam 19 that's cool yes we don't have any snow anymore but I do expect that in two weeks I guess we will have a full cover cover of snow and for example we have a, as I told you friend with us <coughs> who making the photos uh, his name is Artem <laughs> am I recalled properly yeah and for Artem can you tell us uh, What's better to make a photos of Aeroflot livery with a dark blue belly? Is it okay if you have a snow on the ground so the light reflects and it will make a picture much more better? <laughs> or not? I, it's, my, it's my theory that... Uh, <laughs> That's only your priority, which type of weather you would like. <laughs> No, I mean, I mean, is it better for the picture when the uh, the belly is not uh, the bottom of aircraft is not that dark? It, so or it I depends on what kind of uh, picture you want to get. Sure, it depends on what kind of picture you want to get. But I uh, do not how snow affects on the uh, belly of Aeroflot planes because I'm okay, not that. Opened. Ah, you're not experienced to uh, plane spot in winter? Yes. But the winter is coming. <laughs> <laughs> that is another very interesting, uh, interesting phrase. <laughs> the winter is coming. I hope Arya Stark will not come to kill us here. <laughs> that will be fine or funny. <laughs> Uh, the snow is melted, yeah, but for example, a as I told our viewers that two weeks ago we had a uh, plane spotting uh, with the snow on the ground and when I editing uh, um, videos, I noticed that uh, during the color grading I had less problem with the uh, air float livery when uh -huh. the snow was on the ground because the light because reflecting, light reflecting, from the yes, uh, reflecting yes. from the ground. And maybe because it was 50 frames per second and the next one was 100 frames per second, it was less light. 
so what I what do you see the light oh sorry sorry guys but i love to see the blue blue sky oh skies are wrong i will yeah, bring back off. yes i i know the takeoff let me show you you see that that hole that's great and we have a takeoff sorry i am bad i yeah full white north wind boeing triple seven i believe that oh. he will take off soon yeah <laughs> how, how many zoom do you have somewhere three times yeah. and you have a nice picture yeah. not that good not that sharp yeah but but we have airplane just on uh, <sighs> Peter still didn't told us about the holding position Peter please tell us the holding position right now of this airplane what's what's it is it a Bravo 6 Bravo 5 or what <laughs> we are tired to ask you about this we have uh, 39 people watching us and welcome everybody to Moscow Sheremetyevo airport the weather is quite fine and we have a departure as Peter told us, to Orsk and not uh, landing. To Orsk. Uh, yeah, why not to Orsk? Departure was ah. to Orsk, but this no. But we have a landing. It's another departure. The landing of a Boeing 737 of Aeroflot. That was your guest. Uh, guess. That's your guess. Uh, yes. Okay. Let's see if you're right. <laughs> Oh, the landing was very hard. I was right. Yeah, that's cool. The sound, the oh, sound of yes. takeoff. Yes, I need the holding, the names of holding point. At, at least tell me the holding point that right now in the use. Alexander, can you make a picture a little bit darker, please? Hmm? A little bit darker picture? Yes, because no. when we have a landing, it's uh, very, very uh, light. Um, it's quite hard. Let uh, let us make. Oh, this is good. Let let us make like this. Uh, Simon, will be the flight from Mexico, uh, Mexico, some kind with the special livery or not? It's a Finnair or ah Tui. It's a Tui. Tui ha actually Tui has some different liveries, I guess. I remember on the yes. in the Larnaca I saw the full white Tui airplane. Can't remember the model of this, the type of the airplane, but it was full light, full white. Seven, huh? seven, six, seven, seven, six, seven. Two? Yes. I can't remember. It was. Uh, I have to check the video to, to to understand which one it was. So many airplanes. Actually, actually, when I was coming here, I told Eldar about my dream today. Uh, I I was dreaming again about the plane spotting in Sheremetyevo and that they allowed me to go inside the airport to stand near the runways and somehow this runways was between the forest it was so so stupid but the <coughs> the most funny thing that I met two plane spotters in my dream that 
told me that they can uh, buy tickets to go inside uh, for the plane spotting and they bought them and I told them oh well, let's share it in a free part it's a usual normal rate and they told yeah if you want to if you want to and they told me that the price was like one thousand dollars or something for just one day and I told no <laughs> sorry I, I can't do this Okay, Peter asking not to shake the camera so hard. Eldar, so you're on the okay. camera. So be much more easier with camera, please. So we will not make uh, so much ache for our viewers. Ah, just normal to, to delivery. Artem, uh, Artem, can you tell us uh, what's the best f f uh, right, f for right now? For, for now, the best picture of airplane you ever did, uh, you like the most of, among your collection? Ooh. I think that's, that's, that's Airbus A340-5000, oh, 500, I mean. 500? Uh, Algerian government. Ah, Algerian president, yes, when yes, he yes, was yes. coming, I remember In this 30, day. 30th of Jul June, maybe, Ah, uh, yeah. airport. You've been asked to leave, and you yes, found yes, another yes. another spot to film this. It, it to hide from the police. Yeah, yeah. To hide <laughs> from to hide from to police. Take a photo of this plane. But that the government, a government airplanes is always hard to make a picture in Russia. But it was cool. I remember lots of pictures, and I remember your picture as yes. well. And it was pretty cool. Yeah, that was great. Хороший фото. Пьер, Пьер, you are speaking Russian, and have Willing coming from Barcelona, Elsa. Well, we don't have a Willing, we don't have a visa. We have what do we have? What do we have? Where? Today, do we have any? Ah, we have a Chinese cargo somewhere. No, wait, oh, there should be. Huh? China cargo. Yeah, we should have a Chinese South Wind Airlines Boeing Triple Seven coming our way in 15 minutes. That's cool. But where is Chinese one? Oh, we have Illusion Russia Air Force, but it's not coming to Sheremetyevo for sure. Oh yeah, we have a South Wind. So pretty soon, that's great. From that position, it will be nice to feel. Huh? Okay, this is a Boeing Triple Seven cargo of China of Air China Cargo Airlines. It's very cool and beautiful. Let's see its touchdown. It's quite rare in Moscow. Nice touchdown, reverse thrust, cool. Okay, we finally had this south end, China. Yeah, Google Trans ah, Google Translate, that's understandable. Alvanor, thanks for donation and thanks for super chat message. My best picture was in uh, Ruslan, 124 parked lux. Alvanor, do are you on jet photos or plane spotting? So maybe you can send us the link. It will be interesting to watch. And thanks for support. 55 people on our stream and guys it's only 
14 people behind our record we have a 69 remember we want to break to 100 and i have to remind you that right after our stream you will be redirected to a stream to lisbon to airport wings channel and he expecting a huge storm coming to lisbon and uh, a nice jet water jet blasts on the takeoffs and crosswind landings for the lisbon airport so don't leave today uh, you will have a plane sporting marathon because after airport wings you will proceed to helsinki sporting as you can see simon in our channel and uh, i hope there will be uh, a really nice airplanes as well i really love when uh, simon have uh, a sunlight sun uh, sunlight over the thin air airplanes during his streaming but you have a landing oh yeah it's pretty far yet i think it's a south wind or not no not yet uh, i think it's a 320 or 21 or 737 Oh, it's a Koi Superjet 195 of Russia or uh, Severstal Airlines, I think. Let's see. Oh, it's Russia Airlines. Let's see its landing. Of the Koi Superjet 195. We have <coughs> images of Sofia. Alvanor, thank you again for and the Stargazer. Wow. Anyway, Alvanor, do you have a link to Jet Photos or something? We would love to see your photos as well. Is there one? Ah, you, 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 you don't have, as I understand, yeah, you don't have a jet photos. Actually, Artyom, the plane spotter here right now. Uh, how many uh, jet photo? you already have a photos on jet photos? Not so much. Not so much, it's like four, but, five. But, uh, but the moderators on the jet photos are so strict that uh, five photos on jet photos is already a huge, a huge, not just experience, but so a success. I have five photos and all of them like uh, onion. Uh, in each photo, I have uh, like thousand or thousand and half of the press motor views. Oh, yes. Uh, any likes? Is, does they have likes? Well, anyway, five thousand. Yeah. They are cool. I wore this. Yeah, I do remember. Uh, we met Artyom like um, spring. On the end of May. Oh, on the end of May, and he was just starting, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And right now he's a really, really cool uh, experience. Exper experience. Uh, experience photographer. Yeah, experience photographer, and. Uh, and we can see Belavia Boeing 737-300, uh, World of Tanks livery now pushed back. Oh, in that's cool. And going to take off. Almost ready for take. That's that's great. Ah, you posted on IG. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Okay, everybody, let's wake up because we have a World of Tanks livery coming out pretty soon from Moscow back to Minsk. Uh, and that's pretty cool because finally today I was really, really happy that I made my nice flight by of uh, Bel Avia and you can expect it today on the 
uh, slow motion video uh, for the members of our channel so if you would like to see the slow motion of today's uh, flights you just join the membership of our channel and you will see the greatness of the airplanes in slow mo uh, also pretty soon we will tell about the story about the li uh, livery of Bell Avia different liveries they have a retro re retro flight uh, retro livery as well and I still wonder when I will be able to catch this one but the story is pretty pretty fine uh, and you can see interesting moments of liveries on our community wall also for our members but for the rest of the people for our viewers who just subscribed it's not a problem if you miss those videos because uh, in a few days I will make a full reportage video with the aircraft identification open for everybody uh, those videos will always be open for everybody so expect in the 4k 50 frames per second quality and I think it's pretty good but we don't have any landings so Belavia I wonder uh, actually it's a uh, very special for Belarus as well for Belavia because world of tanks left Belarus and they are not uh, actually any more in the country even it's a Belarusian country so it's uh, like sky team of Aeroflot I guess I wonder will we have a departure of a Airbus A350 yes yes uh, today yes oh. in uh, 10 mm, minutes in 10 minutes departure oh. from will it? no nice. e, uh, and I think we are waiting we will be here for two hours more because we are waiting for uh, the landing of uh, Airbus A350 from Tashkent. Alvanor, thank you again. And I, I was uh, Peter and Aldar missed the Max Air Show. I was on the latest air show that was in Moscow. I think it was 2019. Maybe it wasn't the last one, uh, and it was really, really great. Uh, let me tell you what I was liking about the Max Air Show. Uh, there was a flight of MS-21-300. I do remember this one, I guess, I guess, or they was just parked. But there was Airbus uh, A350, I think 1000, because yeah, it, it yeah, 1000, yeah. yeah, it was 1000 and it was a pretty low fly. It was a uh, flight, it was so cool. Actually, I have one video. <laughs> one video on uh, my my channel on another channel i i used to film the pokemon go game and i i i had an idea and i loved to make videos from different parts of the world from some interesting mom, uh, moments uh, catching those pokemons and and the most interesting thing that i was shooting the video even at the uh, max and i have maybe i will dig into this video and take some uh, videos from moments from uh, from this the video and show on our channel as well in the highlights that would be cool Helsinki, Helsinki Sporting the welcome to the ground service of membership of our channel you can proceed to the community wall when you want and there are already free episodes of the stories behind the livery of three different aeroflot liveries and the stories about how they are appeared uh, I, uh, Artem, do you know will they make a Max Air Show next TV, next year? I don't know. They cancelled. They cancelled two they times. Canceled, yes, yes. We, we had a dream to uh, visit the uh, Max Air Show this year, and uh, Peter was in the Paris just a week after. I think the Paris Paris Air, Air Show. Uh, he will tell in the chat if he wants. Maybe I'm mistaken. But this south wind. Ah, yeah, I guess yes. Yes, we can see south wind point triple seven, three hundred uh, going from Antalya to our way. And let's see its touchdown and landing.
Oh, touchdown was hard. And then let's see the takeoff of an Airbus A321 of Airflot. I think everybody will be so happy to visit any air show around. For example, I heard that uh, Saloniki in Greece had an air show, I think just uh, maybe two weeks ago or something. <laughs> and since the Saloniki is the um, air airport with the military as well, uh, it's not easy to play in sport there. So when the air show is around, it's pretty fine to watch uh, what's going on there. Не был он, он был за неделю или то после него. Он не был. А там нужна аккредитация, только если на площадку хочешь попасть. Я, там, там можно подать просто заявку. Но я снимал обычно. Знаю наших товарищей правоохранительных органов, если есть штатик, то профессионально. Uh, we were just talking in Russian about is it does we need a permi oh, that's permission, <laughs> permission to a permission yeah but I mean I always uh, hate this in English language <laughs> I had to, to remember how to properly say this uh, yeah the permission to use the tripods and everything for uh, Air Max show okay we have a bill Avia pretty soon 38 years uh, Age. That's cool, and we have uh, even information about engines. That's pretty cool. Uh, Scott, where are you taking this information from? Is it a flight radar or radar box or plane spotters? Okay, and let's see the Belavia Boeing 737-300 now taxiing and uh, Airbus A350 of Airfield was working and going to Antalya. Yeah, but something is behind you, man. Oh, sorry. We have a landing. You can see immersive. This is an Airbus A320 Neo of Airfield. Oh, sorry, it's 21, I think. Yes, it's 21 now. Oh, crosswind, and let's see, touchdown. Let's see Belavia livery World of Tanks. I've been playing World of Tanks. It's a pretty fine game. Actually, it's a decent game. Uh, and I remember my the best moment in the World of Tanks. Uh, playing World of Tanks was when I was on artillery or something. I can't re remember the proper name uh, for in English. And I was just shooting my my bullet somewhere in the middle of the map and i destroyed somebody that i never ever seen and they told they told me i was a cheating but not it was just a random shot and it was funny it's pretty cool game i really like uh, that uh, we had such uh, professional people making games in the belarus or russia we have some nice russian games as well it's pretty skillful that's cool Yeah, Aeroflot, where is it? Where is Airbus A350? I hope it will Let's come our see. way much closer because it's a very beautiful airplane. Yes, it will be take off from this side. Yes, nice livery for Belavia. Actually, if there will be uh, without clouds, we would see it in the air, but right now it's clouds and I don't think we will see anything. We have something again on the horizon. I just wonder what is it? Yeah. 
Okay, Alvano, thank you for coming. Thank you. And have a nice sleep. Don't forget when you wake up, if you have, will have time to join, I think by that time it will be Helsinki Sporting streaming live from Helsinki. So join any, any live streams. Thank you for your help and support. And let's see the landing of an Airbus A320 of Aeroflot. It's getting colder a little bit, I guess. No, you praying. Oh, in some minutes there will be 737-900 departing, but not Dzerzhavin, which we had an experience. That's cool. 84. No, Yeah. One emoji to members. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, <laughs> okay. I, I, I will try, but we need to think about which emoji of Aeroflot that can be. Thank you for the suggestion, Simon. I will, I will do it from home when I get back. I will think about it. And thanks for your support. South, it's south wind on the back. Can you show the parking of the south wind? Yeah. Oh, it's so big. Oh. What do we have more on the landings? I want something. What the hell is this? On the flight radar, some, some kind yeah, of on the flight radar, uh, southeast or uh, northeast from the Moscow, there's kind some kind of play, uh, glider. glider, yeah. I wonder what is it. Ech, too bad that illusion is not coming our way, and maybe from Novosibirsk, any, any Volga Dnieper. Oh, we have, we have something here. It's uh, oh, Anton of uh, oh, oh, wow. But I, I, I don't think it's coming to Sheremetyevo. We have Antonov and An-124 in the air near um, Chiboksari. But I'm pretty sure it's not coming to Moscow because it's a Russian Air Force and uh, Sheremetyevo is not... Uh, it's not uh, military, yeah, it's not the military. It's yeah. good that it's not the military because <laughs> <laughs> with <laughs> military we won't be able to film here. And let's see the taxiing of Airflots Airbus A350-900. Почему? Я снимаю. Спроси его в чате, что он на этом там. 
такое спросить, я занят сильно курю. А у меня телефон-то какой? Окей, let me check. Maybe we will have some kind of interesting aircraft coming our way. Well, I really hope this Ruslan will will be coming to Moscow. That will be fine. I hope so, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's impossible, almost impossible. Yeah, Belavia just around about us, above us somewhere. Okay, Airbus already taxing. I think Hatem will be in the camera or not. For some reason I love this stream. Hello, River Zobs. Hello, Ganalulu. Hello, Hawaii. Welcome to our, uh, to our stream and I hope you will enjoy it. We have a Boeing, oh not Boeing, oh, holy <laughs> crap, Airbus A350 in the camera right now, going to Antalya. Okay, and finally we have, it's a Bravo one, thank you Peter, finally we, I do understand which uh, taxi, uh, which holding point is this. And it's really beautiful. I, I, yeah. I, it's my favorite airplane. I mean, the, the wings, the body, the everything is so great. Everything is beautiful. Yeah, yeah Aeroflot. Uh, but where, where? I, I missed. Where is it going? And it's shark. Let's, let's see. Where is it going? Uh, Antalya. Ah, Antalya. I said, uh, yes, yes. Times. I forgot. Departing to San Antalya. Yeah, that's cool. River Zops. Uh, aloha. Yeah, aloha. Aloha O'Hara, and Oha, let's Oha, Oha, see the on, uh, let's look on the, its uh, winglets, uh, we can see Russian flag there, a logo of air float, it's uh, only on A350, and uh, before A350's uh, take off, uh, we need to uh, show you the landing of Airbus A321neo of air float. Let's see its landing. nice and uh, let's see let's hear oh I think before we'll... the takeoff of uh, Airbus A350 we have a takeoff of, uh, of the Boeing 737-900 of Russia Airlines ah, to it's uh, named after Russian uh, police and uh, man, politician uh, polit politician yes uh, uh, Vladimir Zirinovsky Yes, Helsinki, I do agree with you that it's so great that Airbus's A350 are white color. And if you remember, I was telling long time before that two of, uh, I think, two of Russian uh, Aeroflot Airbus's A350 uh, was suspended and not delivered to the company and was sold uh, to the Turkish Airlines. And right now the Turkish Airlines, I think, still not changed the paint uh, of the uh, airplanes. And uh, they are different from the Turkish Airlines. And let's see another landing of an Airbus A321 of our float. Now it's not now, but uh, let's see. Let's hear its sound of engines. Sorry, it was not uh, A321, it was just A320, excuse me, 
Oh, the landing was hard. And let's... Eldar, you don't have to be sorry, because it's impossible without proper flight yeah. radar from the front view to determine 320 or 321. But this glorious airplane is taking off. Everything on this airplane is good. It's great. Yeah, I just... I, I, I just want them to make a special special livery for air airplanes maybe if they if turkish airlines have some kind of livery of parts of aeroflot maybe they can add a red tail of turkish airlines here <laughs> yeah, it would be fun yeah it would be fun i'm pretty sure it would be yeah. fun what a fabulous takeoff yeah no, we didn't miss it, the Boeing 7900. Uh, Not hard as Ryanair. Yeah, the Ryanair is the hardest, I guess. In the world, maybe. Maybe some Afri African uh, airplanes as well are hardest. But I think my hardest was... Oh, let me remember. 2017, I guess, on the road from Prague to Minsk. And then to Moscow, and I think I had a really hard landing in the Minsk of Belavia. Actually, oh My yeah. My hardest landing was on Ryanair. <laughs> Ryanair? Yes, in Luxembourg. Oh, when you were going to for plane spotting there? What? You were going to plane spot in Luxembourg by Ryanair? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Peter telling about his Ryanair experience as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm the one that had no experience flying on Ryanair. What the hell is this? On Ryanair. And maybe I'm... But I like flying with air. <laughs> well, Turkish Airlines. Hardest with Turkish Airlines. Turkish Airlines are monsters. They can uh, prepare you to fly. For flight, uh, they can. Uh, I will fix it in a second. They can feed you with food, and they can take everything away just in half an hour. They are pretty crazy guys. Let's see the landing of an Airbus A321 of Airflot. I think the touchdown will be okay. And what are waiting you from this landing? Maybe go around. It's getting colder, guys, and the sun disappearing. It's too bad. I wish more sun will come our way. And we have 57 people on board, and maybe we can really break the record. We have, we need only 13 people. Turkish Airlines is the best service. Yes, in my opinion as well, the Turkish Airlines is the best service in the Europe and um, they are just great. Their food, their water, everything. They, they are so cool. I need to fix something here. Uh, guys, sorry for the picture right now. I need to fix a little but 
Okay, that's better. Ты когда переводишь оттуда туда, удаляй картинку, тогда будет намного плавнее все. Понял? Вот так вот. И потом только так. Окей, okay, we have a landing. And let's let's see what is this. It will be my guess. I hope it's something heavy, but I think it's not. It's some uh, 747. Yeah, Nordwind or not or Aeroflot. Eldar, take the camera. Thank you. It's smart avia. Smart avia. They are not that smart. So let's check for the Antonov where it's going. Maybe we will be lucky. For, for me, the hardest turbulence. It's, uh, this question for everybody, I guess. But for me, the turbulence was. Holy crap! Let me let me think. During the landing, for me, the hardest turbulence was, uh, of course, the Minsk uh, Belavia in Minsk. But. I think my greatest experience, uh, uh, my greatest experience uh, of the beautiful, uh, the most beautiful clouds was two flights. The one flight from Istanbul to Moscow uh, this summer uh, on Pobeda when I saw the rainbow and the huge thunderstorms around me, but not near me. And uh, uh, when I was on the road to Cyprus. I think 2016, uh, uh, we had to make a round, uh, round way, uh, not to get into the storm cloud. And the storm cloud was pretty high, with the um, lightings inside, and it was pretty, pretty cool. Oh, we have another. We will have another Chinese uh, airplane soon, but right now there is a landing behind an Eldar. Don't look at this moment. What airplane is landing? Wild guess. <laughs> I think A321. Okay, A321, oh, and we will see. <laughs> and we will see is it correct? Oh, it's Airflot Airbus A320 or 21, and let's look. And uh, am I right? right. No, it's a three twenty just, but. No, it was just A320, but I was near this. It was A320. Yeah. Yeah, Singapore Airlines. I, I never had an experience, but Helsinki. Simon, you had so many experience flying around. That's cool. Illusion Il76 when it takes off. Hello, Alexander. We have a illusion on takeoff for takeoff or not? I can see it right now. That we wouldn't see it. Yeah, but it will taxi. We would love to have this. For take off or for this polar spot because it's nice sound. 
it will be nice sound. Okay. Oh, let's... and we can see the, an Airbus A330 of air float going to take off. And I wonder where is it, this Antonov coming to? Which Antonov? This one. Uh -huh. Not to Sheremetyevo. Yeah, not to Sheremetyevo, but I just wonder where where is it? It's from Novosibirsk, yes. No. Because uh, it's based in Novosibirsk. Place. It's a military. It's not Novosibirsk. <laughs> there is a slight chance. Yeah, there is a slight One chance. <laughs> yeah, there is a slight chance. I hope I hope it will be our way. It will be great. We hope so. Yeah, that will be crazy. I am a little bit tired of Pobeda. I would love to fly Emirates and Singapore and Australian Qantas. It's just to compare their service to Pobeda Airlines, for example. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that uh, there is a slight difference. There is difference. Yeah, difference. <laughs> there is a slight <laughs> difference between them. Ow. And let's see the taxing of Airbus A330 of air float. To where? It's coming to, to take where? off? Huh? Uh, to take off. Oh, that's cool. Yes. But to which destination? Let's see on flight radar. It's going to Dubai. Okay. So we have just to run 500 meters this way and grab the tail and fly to Dubai as well. <laughs> it will be not that hard. Okay, we have a 15% on the battery. We will change it pretty soon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Simon, yeah, Pobeda will win, of course. <laughs> you can, Pobeda will win because you can't even the steal the safety instruction from the board. It's attached to the chairs, like on the run, uh, Ryanair, and it's crazy. Actually, I asking all my pupils in the school if they fly somewhere and if their parents allow them, they have to take one safety <laughs> instruction from the board. I, I have a pretty big collection right now. They love to do this. They asking for the good grades for this, but I never do this. I mean, no, oh, yeah, you can bring the safety instruction, but you have to learn something to get the high grades. Oh, that's beautiful. Safety instructions. У нас в УЗИ как главный подпись все время целый, ну, по-моему, седьмой этаж это. У нас целый огромный стенд с этими карточками. Там есть карточки из МГ-82, Е-747 Трансайра, всякие такие штучки. Yeah, there, there is a um, United продают их много. Трансайра тоже. Не, я просто боюсь, что они из тех времен еще висят. Uh -huh. Я же мои. Там целый этаж посвященный всей этой теме. Что я не помню, мои законы. Седьмой этаж. Главный корпус. Окей, мы вернулись к английскому языку. Извините, ребята. Это была просто история о том, что Москва Авиационный университет имеет в основном здании, на седьмом этаже, целая коллекция безопасности борта от различных авиалиний, включая все авиалиние, которые мы все потеряли, Трансайро. I had an experience flying Transairo. It was a really great airline. And it's too bad that it's already not in the working order and only few, I think, few airplanes in the livery of Transairo standing somewhere. One in the Vnukovo and another one, the 747, I guess, in the Domodedovo. I think so. There is so Yeah, that's what I saw. Oh, maybe another one I saw in the Kazan. I can't remember, maybe in Kazan as well. Hello, F. Welcome to our channel, everybody. 
who just joined our channel welcome to the moscow sheremetyevo airport for the nice already not morning but midday traffic and we see the airbus a330 of aeroflot going to the bravo one i hope so for holding point bravo one and preparing for the departure it should be ready for departure as our channel so if you like what we are doing please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button on the stream so we can understand and especially youtube can understand that what we are doing here is a pretty pretty good thing for viewers and we will uh, it will help us to spring uh, spread information about russian aviation and what's going on in russian airports to the whole world we should be open for everybody Hello America, hello Armenia, sorry. Hello Armenia. <laughs> no, just uh, on the cold it looks like, but Armenia, uh, we love Armenia. We love the Armenian food and we hope, I hope that uh, in the nearest future I will fly to Yerevan once again. I really, I really enjoy uh, Yerevan. It's uh, actually, I will tell you why I enjoy Yerevan. I'm sorry that I'm uh, too much uh, talky uh, speaking about different things, not just aviation. But Yerevan is the only city among uh, former Soviet Union that I saw that have a un 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 um, let me let me think how it's to say a unique and. Uh, special look in the buildings in the uh, Yerevan. I mean, all buildings are the same color, uh, same volcanic stone used in the facades of the buildings, and it makes a great um, atmospheric uh, uh, feeling of Yerevan when I was there. It's pretty cool, and that's why I, li I like uh, to get back to Armenia and to Yerevan as well. As end to eat something some good I like the potatoes there is some kind of potatoes that made specially uh, in special order and they are so tasty so delicious oh we can, we can see it's uh, warming up all right it's warming up Okay, we have 45 people on board. We have 43 likes, guys. What what the hell with the likes? Oh, 61 like. Okay, sorry. But the sound is so great. 61 like. Yeah, that's 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 great. That's nice. Uh, as for tomorrow, we are for everybody. We are planning to stream tomorrow as well. I don't know yet from which position. It depends on the wind, but there is a slight chance. If there will be rain, uh, probably we will have to cancel our stream because right now I still have no uh, idea how to cover the equipment uh, against the water so we are yet to understand but uh, the prediction of the weather for tomorrow is a slight rain slight rain is okay so i hope we will stream tomorrow as well but not in the early morning because in the morning there will be helsinki sporting simon uh you are streaming you can write in the chat please write in the chat uh at what time are you streaming tomorrow and we will do our stream after uh helsinki Oh, it's getting colder, actually. It's yes. really getting colder. Let me see what we have here. Let me be on the camera. Ah, no, no, not me be on the camera, but I have to change the battery of the camera. That will be better idea to do right now. Uh, okay guys uh, I there will be a slight blackout right now because I have to change the battery just wait a sec 
we are back back to attacks and I need to make it much lighter because it's it's dark here I think that will be the nice nice panoramic view of Moscow Sheremetyevo airport I am waiting for this south wind to come out And let's look at the Airbus A320. Offer a float and it's taxi can go into take off. We don't have any landings right now and a little pause. But we expect to see an Airbus A330 of uh, uh, Sichuani Airways uh, cargo and that's uh, going um, here from China and then uh, fly to, from Moscow to Brussels. Okay, Helsinki, uh, Simon will be streaming tomorrow uh, 5 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Uh, Zulu time or UTC time or Greenwich time, London time. It depends on your preference how to call this. Is it dark or not? It's uh, dark, I <laughs> think dark. a little bit lighter. Let will me be let nice. me make it. Where is this? Here, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, to Dubai. And soon there will be what? There will be Airbus 330 depart to Kaliningrad. Uh, why 330 to Kaliningrad? Isn't it too big for the Kaliningrad? And also there is 777 coming from the parking lot. Full white. Where have you seen? Oh, it's a to Cuba, I think. The, uh, yeah, Kayakoko or something like this. Oh, what they are lucky guys. I think. Uh, let me let's check. It's uh, Varadero. <laughs> Yeah, really, to Kaliningrad. Why? Let's Where? check uh, on the oh, on North the cargo. Wind. Yeah, North Wind. North Let's Wind check for <laughs> Antonov. Antonov flying somewhere to the north, I guess, or maybe to Ch uh, Chkalovsky, maybe. <laughs> you, you can see the speed of the <laughs> six, 60 knots, <laughs> 28, 28,000 feet. Uh, oh no, it's finally not 60 knots, but for 460 knots. Yeah, we have a okay, we have a some soon heavy on our way coming our way, but where is the A350? Can't see it. Ah, it will come from Tashkent, from different road. Okay, what's about any any illusions? No, it's too bad. Another another stream and no illusions on board. That's that's pretty pretty boring. It's dark again. No. No, it's you sure it's not dark. It's not it's very. Dark. I think it's a slight dark. Where is it? Let's make it like this. I think it will be better. Okay. There is two Airbus A350. Two Airbus? Two. I saw only one. 
in one hour. And guys, as you can see, Simon from Helsinki Sporting using our emojis uh, of Boeing and Airbus. You can do this too if you will join our channel and we see an incredible, incredible north wind, white north wind. 777 to Varadero. I can't imagine how many gasoline inside this beast because it's a long flight. Uh, we have to. It's probably 13 hours. Yeah, it's 13 hours or even more because when the, there was a direct flight from Moscow, I've been flying 13 hours to Cuba. But right now we have to make a curve uh, around Norway and it's not that easy. I think that's much. We have a landing. Yeah. Через сколько он будет? Через час тридцать. Okay, we have a, a, a nice news. I will, will tell you just in a second <laughs> after this landing. Let's see an Airbus A330-200 uh, cargo uh, of uh, Sichuan Airlines goes to Moscow in then uh, direct flight to Brussels to Belgium By the way, guys, I really wonder when this uh, A330 going to Brussels uh, on the table of airport in Brussels, there will be written Moscow or not, because it's quite rare to see in the European. Uh, in European airports the destination from that airplane coming from Moscow well it's a beautiful picture right now I mean the colors and uh, you can see even the fan rotating inside in the engine and it's so great so the great news guys it looks like that our friend uh, special livery of Aeroflot called Dobralot or Retro is coming our way. It's finally, yeah, yes. If nothing wrong in the flight radar, we will see retro retro livery of Aeroflot in an hour and a half, and that's great. I I really happy that it it uh, back to service because uh, two two days ago we saw or three days ago we saw it on the maintenance on repair I'm happy if it's true and I hope we are yeah we hope so it's very interesting where is this Ruslan going maybe there is a slight chance it will come coming our way it will be cool yeah, I, 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 I don't see any. Uh, it it won't go to Kaliningrad. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. And it's the only airport there. Maybe to Minsk. Maybe it's going to Minsk. There is its chance. We have another airplane. And 45 people. Yeah, two Nordwind aircrafts. Uh, let's check this. Two uh, two days yeah. ago we had two Southwind airplanes. Uh, uh, in the same dance, and yeah, yeah. And now it's not. <laughs> and we have something behind Eldar, and it will be your wild guess. What airplane? I think it's Boeing 737 of Победа. Okay, let's see. Yes, I am right.
I think touchdown will be hard because Vida always make hard touchdown. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> what a smooth landing. <laughs> There are pilots from Ryanair there. <laughs> anyway, Nordwind, it's so beautiful. We have something coming out from this pipe. That's cool. Really, it can go to Kaliningrad? Yeah, maybe to Kaliningrad. But I hope to Russia. Oh, <laughs> to, to Moscow. <laughs> it's pretty funny. We will see. It will be a, a riddle of our stream where this airplane going to, Antonov, I mean. And we have 39 people on board. We lost 30 people. That's crazy. Maybe that's because it's cold. That's why we are here streaming for you. You can sit at home and watch us. Not getting on cold and we have another airplane Eldar on Nordwind don't want to take off. And this is a Suhoi Superjet 195 of Severstal Airlines. Let's see. Let's see the takeoff of Nordwind Boeing 777. Some lucky guys inside this airplane going to Varadero from cold Moscow. A long flight, two meals, I guess. Are they making the meal on the north wind for this flight? Uh, I think for Varadero, yes. <laughs> okay. For 13 hours flight, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we. Okay, have a nice flight to Varadero. Oh, another Nordwind with a beautiful livery. Let's, yes. Let's see, it's A330. It's pretty cool livery. Oh, uh, Peter no knows that only one time meal for this long flight. That's crazy. Only one? Yes. When I flew to Phuket, was two meals. It's an Aeroflot. It, no, but it was uh, eight hours, and uh, here is uh, how many hours? <laughs> uh, by the by the way, I don't think the North Wind has a good leg room or something because I think they don't even have an entertainment system on board. Yes. Yeah. I I I I was on the board of seven 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 of North Wind. Maybe the, this, uh, exactly this white one from Sochi last year to Moscow. I need to check the re re rec numbers and maybe... Uh, actually, I don't remember Nordwin selling food on the board. But we had a nice meal, me and Peter had a nice meal on board of Russia 737-900 on the way to Kaliningrad. Yeah, we had a really long story. I hope we will uh, be no. able to, to say about the story uh, how we tried to get food in the airport uh, <laughs> before our departure and we were hungry and we bought a nice cheap Chinese uh, Chinese food on board. Uh, 
And it was fantastic. No, it's so stunning. No, it's it's great, it's great. It's elder doesn't don't like it, but we are uh, another airplane. By the way, I forgot to tell something about Severstal Super Sukhoi Superjet. Yes, you forgot. What to tell about the winglet? Yeah, it's a different from the rest of the of the other fleets of the Super Superjet. There is a special detail. Let's see the landing yeah, of the Airbus A321 of our float. Let's see the takeoff of Nordwind's Airbus A330-200. I remember standing in front of this beast in Kazan when there was official spotting uh, in Kazan and they allowed us to stay just in front of this one during the parking and you can check it in the cinematic videos on our channel called one evening near the runway and the latest moments of this uh, cinematic video there is a real experience with uh, standing in front of this air 330 by the way artem you do you know the story why the Sukhoi superjet of Severstal has another winglets <laughs> there is a uh, some kind of try of Sukhoi company uh, to okay. to make it more effective. To, uh, yeah, to make it more efficient. Ah, efficient, yeah. And uh, there is only one such airplane or not? I don't know the okay. because in how, ma how, <laughs> how many plane? Oh, yeah. How, how many? much? How many airplanes? Are uh, yeah, with how such many? How many Sukhoi Superjets are flying with this uh, wingtips? But I can tell that it's kind of rare. Oh, uh, we saw in the Kaliningrad during our spotting in Kaliningrad. We saw the Super uh, Sukhoi Superjet as well with the winglets uh, of, of Severstal. I, I never saw the same in the Russia Airlines or other companies because the Rossiya's uh, fleet is kind of old oh. and this uh, wingtips uh, uh, were certified near 2017 mm -hmm. I think the 2017-2018 pretty new yeah die. there is the pretty new modification our That's SSJ cool. new will be uh, I believe they will be with the wingtips yeah yeah they're, they're trying to make them Okay. Yes, I'm so sad when the airline don't provide meal because for me, uh, experience of eating the food on the board of aircraft is the 50% of whole flight experience. I mean, I really love it. I enjoy this. That's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, everybody. Is there anybody in the chat besides? us and Simon from Helsinki Sporting. Oh, I think that's uh, Etihad Boeing yeah. 787 getting ready to departure. Oh, Etihad soon, yeah, that's cool. Everybody in the chat, tell us where you're from, especially if you just came to our channel. We welcome you in the Moscow Sheremetyevo airport for the midday traffic and we will be with you, I think, for one hour or maybe one hour and ten minutes more. After our stream you can just sit and relax because you will be redirected to Lisbon airport for the nice and maybe sometimes scary landings in the storm. Uh, Lisbon expecting the huge winds today and rains and storm and our friend from Airport Wings channel will continue stream from there. So we will give him an uh, 
uh, opportunity to continue with you and yes yes uh, that's what features have told you just right in the chat <coughs> you will be automatically redirected and after airport wings you can expect another redirection to helsinki sporting uh, for great interesting movement in the capital of finland so stay with us for the for this whole day i think and uh, because pretty soon from the cold moscow you will be redirected to warm lisbon yes and helsinki will have as well strong winds so okay where is the jihad it's near the it's near the terminal that's good the next departing traffic airbus a320 of aeropol to astana kazakhstan that's cool by the way yeah but by the way we have something on the because Very close. Uh, it's not usual uh, Dreamliner, it's uh, 78710. It's, it's the longest version, yeah. Yeah, it's 787. Artyom, did you try to get the green liner? It was two days ago here, I guess, or three days ago. I was trying to get it at Monday, uh -huh. but uh, I have such uncomfortable uh, schedule that I uh -huh. cannot just... that I couldn't get to the Sherry Meteor Airport. And, uh, the time. Yeah, too bad that not green liner today. It will be highlight of the stream. Oh, the sound! That's great. Great sound. Yeah. Будем давать ссылку на Jet Photos. Даже конечно, у меня я хочу поменять все эти части своих ревью всех. не против, так сказать, посотрудничать. Я еще недавно постиг все прелести прогресса и начал пользоваться Топас Фото. А, но ной собирать? Да, это просто потрясающая штука. Посмотрите. Sorry, guys, for Russian, for a little bit, Eldar will have a landing behind you. Oh, yes. Let's see the landing. Oh, this is a Boeing 737 of Airflot Russian Airlines. Now going to land on the runway 06 right. Let's see its landing. We can see the texting of Boeing 787 Dreamliner uh, of Etihad Airways texting to runway 06 center and then going to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> And before the takeoff of the Dreamliner, let's see the takeoff of an Airbus A320 of Aeroflot. Uh, just a second, I will tell you to which destination it comes. Let's see. Oh. Фотография оригинальная вот такая, да? Типа артефакты всякие, да? Нет, конечно. It goes to Atirau. 
let's see the landing of an Airbus A321. Oh, sorry, it's 20 of air float. getting darker yes let's check for the chat let's see the taxing of a Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner of Etihad Airways okay Alexander, there, uh, there is no flights to Ulyanovsk from Moscow. I don't know if it's for today, but there are usually flights from Ulyanovsk to Moscow, I guess. We had, uh, we, we had some. I remember when I'm editing uh, videos. It's a, it's a Etihad already? Oh, let me, let me check. Etihad. So beautiful. Long one. Uh huh, and that's be that's beautiful. I would love to fly dream Dreamliner. Yes. Guys, who who had an experience flying a uh, Dreamliner ten? Please write in the chat. And we have 757 landing in 13 minutes. Thank you, Simon, for help. Uh, you know, the only problem I don't understand why on your chat and Lisbon's chat there are people always talking and on our chat there are usually uh, silence. But we are happy that we have at least the movement here today. But Uh, how how to make people chat? I don't know. That's the moment I'm thinking about. But there are so many lucky guys inside this airplane. I wonder how many. Peter, can you tell us? Can you find information? How many Boeing seven four eight seven ten already uh, flying in the world? It will be interesting information. Uh, I think it will wait. Yes. Yeah, it will wait for the landing, so we have to make... Let's see the landing of an Airbus A320 of Aeroflot, I think. Let's see. If I'm right, it's Sky Team. Yes, it's Sky Team livery. Etihad 
Boeing 787-10 Dreamliner 9 now taking off and going to Abu Dhabi. Peter, I had a question, how many uh, Boeing 787-10 already made in the world? I mean, how, how many airplanes in the world already in this modification? Can you check in the internet? Uh, let me check the flight radar, because I wonder where is already our um, Antonov. Antonov is definitely flying to... Kaliningrad. I'm pretty sure that it's on the way to Kaliningrad or maybe to some kind of military airports somewhere near Pskov, but I don't know. Let me see what we can expect in Moscow. We have a two heavies coming our way, two Boeing 777 in almost 10 minutes and that's great. Uh, also we have Airbus 320 and 321 soon but where is a where is our retro where yeah, is what about the dobrolet where is the dobrolet yeah i i can't find it hello oh, oh. it's uh, near the kirov near the kirov okay that's great and we have a landing again we can't rest here we can't talk here we have to work here eldar welcome Let's see the landing of an Airbus A321 of Airflot. I think the touchdown will be nice. What do you think about its touchdown? I think it will be smooth. Sorry, it's A320. Oh, the touchdown was very hard. We will have a 757 cargo, cargo again in half an hour. Who is this? And we have in half an hour Tashkent Airbus A350. So I guess that will be almost the final of our stream, like in 40 minutes, I guess. Okay. Там ты тут до скольких? Ну, 7-5-7 с фоткой и дальше посмотрю по радару, если будет что-то интересное, поставлю последнюю тоже. Ты научишь нас только отсюда на столб сюда, что-то я не могу разобраться. А как ты сейчас разберешься? Ну, на, на машине приехали, а -а -а. нас подвезли. Я еще немножко опоздал из-за того, что правый водитель просто проехал остановку. А -а -а. Okay, so we have a pretty nice movement uh, uh, still left for our the stream. Okay, around 64, oh, 46 aircraft produced and give it to airlines and 24 offered more. And we have a different information, but uh, maybe I was talking about only 787-10. 
have to find out yeah what numbers are true <laughs> that's true Simon that's true uh, but I think seven eight seven ten it's not that much it's 115 delivered it's a pretty fast production What we have about likes? Let me check our like button and we have 65 likes. That's nice, that's nice. And we have 2,220 uh, 2, uh, 220 subscribers or around that. That's cool. That's really, really cool. We are growing. Let's see what's going on on here. South wind. Maybe we will catch the departure of the south wind if it will be in time. So many tales of air, air float. So many. Some of them were uh, waiting. God, yeah. Cashback. They tell us the cashback of something. Ad uh, yeah. <laughs> It's pretty, pretty empty. Oh, here we come. We see some kind of movement. That's better to look at this. It's pretty huge order. It's pretty huge. I mean, seven, eight, seven, one thousand, eight hundred thirty-three orders of all very uh, kind of seven, eight, seven. Boeing is great. They are doing so great job. And how many of them were built? Uh, 1,087. Uh, okay, 40 people on our chat and welcome to the Moscow Sheremetyevo Airport. We will be with you for uh, at least uh, 40 minutes more with uh, covering arrival and departure of different airplanes. Okay guys, we have a landing and this time I will be on camera with, with you and let me take a wild guess of what's going on. I'm not that great in the aircraft identification as my colleagues as Eldar and Peter. Let me check. For example, I see some kind of airplane in the... It's not a ship, it's not a train. Uh, I don't see a uh, sharklet, so probably it's Airbus. Maybe Airbus A320. It, it will be my wild guess. Not Neo. Maybe. I, I will be right. Let me check afterwards what that was. Oh, but anyway, it's a beautiful. So amazing. Oh, you can see the professional movement of the camera. And the touchdown. Will it be go around? I guess not. Yeah, wow. So pretty nice. That's fantastic. And reverse. Not bad, not bad. Okay, what's we have more here? Oh, we have a departure. Departure. I guess it's a maybe Boeing 737. I think I did a lot of mistakes. We will see. What's this airplane, Eldar? It's an Airbus A3. Ah, it's an Airbus, not Boeing. How? Ah, I cannot determine by engines. I was full, yeah. I'm full because the, I can see right now in, by engines it's Airbus. I need to think more, more, uh, more carefully. Oh, that's nice. Coming into the air. Gear up. That's cool. Okay, let's back to the airport. 
and our friend fake bird over there. Professional movement of the camera. <laughs> yes, yes, seven. Uh, what Eldar is doing a great job as well. Oh, triple seven and Eldar, it's your time to be on camera. Okay, let's see the landing of a Boeing triple seven of Russia Airlines. I think the landing will be very beautiful because it's heavy power and it's heavy. Let's see, let's hear its sound. And right in the chat, uh, do you have an experience flying on a Boeing 777? And on uh, which destination and which airline? Maybe my camera movement is professional, but I'm not as close to airplane guessing as Eldar. He is kicking my ass off in this game pretty hard. Okay, we don't have a lot of people writing. Come on, guys. Where are you from? Hello, we know Helsinki from Helsinki, that obviously. But where are the rest of the 39 people? I am pretty sure they are watching already. Uh, let me check. Maybe it's uh, Lisbon airport already uh, streaming. Let me check. Which streams are going on right now? Okay, I see ready for departure. I see Madeira. Okay, Pedro working. I think it's Pedro and I think yeah airport wings already already online and there is a huge storm but let's wait for a while and we will be back to him in uh, like half an hour the, 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 the spot there is pretty cool so I guess I know where everybody sitting right now anyway it's okay oh. We all, we all of us doing a great job for bringing people to aviation. So let's consider uh, what's next. Okay, we have a Russia. We have a Petropavlovsk in 11 minutes as well. We have where is a where is a Dobrolot? I want it. Uh -huh, 20 minutes uh -huh, 20 minutes Here of... is it heavy there Let's see another Boeing 777 of Russia Airlines 2.
wonderful engine sound. Yeah, the sounds of engines was great. It wasn't great, it wasn't, it was wonderful. Yeah, I like it when they are flying by and they making it more powerful and it's like roaring. But I, I, I lost again. Where is the Dobralot? <laughs> we will try to find it. I just want to understand how many time uh, it will need. I think it's near 15 minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> how it's about an hour. An hour? Yes. Ah, how many, about an hour. Should we wait or not? That's a question. I think why not? Because after the Debraliot, there will be Triple uh, Seven coming from uh, Vladivostok. Yeah, maybe, maybe without stream, I, I don't know. We will, we will, As we will see. Yeah. Hello, Wolfgang. Hello, Frankfurt. Na thank you for coming. How is Frankfurt nowadays? I think it's pretty, pretty warm there. Should, there should be, and you've got a very big airport and a really nice movement there in Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Eldar, yeah, Eldar will be back on camera in a minute, and he will tell about his experience playing sporting yes. at Frankfurt. He was there. Yes, I was uh, live in Germany uh, near the Frankfurt for Not one good. year, uh, and. Uh, uh, I was uh, at Frankfurt Airport every weekend. Uh, uh, continue after the landing. <laughs> okay. okay. I will be on the camera right now. Well, there I have to film how I'm filming. So, okay. Another wild guest for me. I think it's something interesting in the air. Not a bird, definitely. Okay. Heavy? Oh, uh, I mean, no. Heavy, uh, ah, bird, heavier than birds. a bird. Yeah, okay. I think it's. Uh, let me see. It's an Airbus. Yeah, okay. Right. Uh, Three hundred and twenty. Not now. Ah, twenty-one. Yeah, it's a long one. Nice touch down. Pretty smooth. Yeah, no, not a butter, but pretty, pretty nice. Okay, I need to make something in equipment. So, I just made him to be on day. I need to put a charger. To our camera so it will work let me let me do this yes uh, and uh, I had an experience uh, of plane spotting in Frankfurt Airport uh, I had an experience uh, spotting in uh, Cologne Bonn uh, in Dusseldorf uh, and Frankfurt Hahn Airport too uh, it was very cool because uh, in Frankfurt was uh, so many planes of, from different airlines, uh, from of Singapore Airlines, Emirates, uh, with more uh, beautiful liveries of Lufthansa. Volgun, I will tell you just in a second uh, after the landing. And Hero Wings. Okay, and now we have a landing of, I think it's Pobeda Airlines, Boeing 737-800, coming our way.
Okay, there was a question what kind of camera are we using for our stream? Uh, for stream we are using Sony FDR AX700 and uh, for our 4K videos uh, the second camera is Sony FX30 uh, Simon, I'm not sure that I can make a nightboard I need to think about it because uh, as you know, we are streaming without uh, PC, without computer. We are streaming from the device that <coughs> I can't control the chat and anything. I need to understand is it possible for the nightboard to be <coughs> able to be working uh, if I am not at home with my computer. I just, I just need to understand. Yes, all the 747 there in Frankfurt, that's of, of course... Wolfgang, where are you from? Ah, you're Frankfurt, sorry. <laughs> my, my, my brains are freezing here. Uh, I, I was already... What's that, the plane? It's a... Uh, ah, it's a 777. Yes, they just landed. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? Not, not, not ER. It's in Rolls-Royce engines. Oh, we, we have a uh, help with the engines there, <laughs> but we have a landing. And our take. Let's see the landing of an Airbus A321 of Aeroflot. The landing was hard. <coughs> okay, it's automatic. Yes, then I will when I will be home. I will check. I, I, I knew that we need a night boat so it can uh, have uh, some kind of commands. Another landing. There, there are so many landings here in Moscow. And that's really, really great. Let's see what we have here, parking Russia, 
again landings guys we are have so many landings right now that's cool let's point By the way, you can see this field, those fields that I'm talking about. Let's see the landing of an Airbus A321 of Aeroflot. By the way guys, I am pretty sure that some of you know that there is a game, PC game called Diablo 2 and there is a, some kind of challenge in Diablo 2, sometimes it's called Holy Grail, when you have to get all uh, unique and uh, set items uh, from the monsters. So I think we have to under try to get the Holy Grail of Aeroflot, so we need to try to catch every single airplane Aeroflot has now right in the fleet so I think being in Cherry Meteo it's not that hard uh, we just need to keep the track of numbers of the Aeroflot airplanes and maybe uh, I don't know maybe in two months or month we will be able to spot every single Aeroflot airplane that they have right now in their fleet we will try to understand can we do keep the record of this too much light on the picture okay let me check oh yes i think you're right simon i need to raise up a little bit maybe towards 500 shutter speed it should be like this Thank you, thank you for help. And another landing, let's check on this landing. Let's see the landing of an Airbus A320 of Aeroflot. It's very beautiful. And I think the landing will be nice. somebody on departure ah sorry <laughs> not Simon Peters thank you QC cat planes thank you does the airport have any special special deliveries in their fleet that's a very good question uh, of course I can say that uh, for members of our channel we have a community wall posts about the special deliveries of around the world we started just uh, not so long time ago and free f uh, first three episodes was about Aeroflot we were talking about Aeroflot but I will tell you right now yeah Peter just told you but I will tell you some stories behind this uh, behind these liveries just let check for the landing first okay let's see the landing of a Boeing 777 I think from Aeroflot but let's see it. Is it Aeroflot or Russia? 
Air float, ok. Let's hear sound of the engines. Okay, back to the special liveries of Aeroflot. Eldar, can you show us after this one the gel park it? Yes. Yeah, we have one sure. one uh, one airplane this. in the special livery. There you see the tail in the white and blue uh, pattern. It's a so-called gel or uh, 95 anniversary of Aeroflot. Uh, it's a park it one, not in the sky, but we had it on our streams a uh, few streams ago we are waiting for the retro livery the bralot it will be here in uh, 40 minutes but i'm not sure yet will we will we continue stream by the time it will be here and we have four sky team uh, airplanes and each uh, story about each livery is described on our community wall but about the stickers for 100 years of air uh, Aeroflot, it's just really, uh, as Peter told you, boring, uh, boring to to say because it's just a sticker on the board and nothing more. Uh, for all those who just came here, we are watching the live stream from the Moscow Sheremetyevo Airport by the channel ready for departure. Uh, we are three authors, Alex, me, Eldar, that is on the camera right now, and Peter, he is at home on the chat, he is moderating our chat and writing under the name ready for departure. We are aviation enthusiasts, we like everything that related to aviation and travel, flight trips, plane spotting, uh, airport visitings and stuff so we are trying to share you our experience in the aviation world if you like what you see so, uh, think about subscribing but I have to uh, film another landing video uh, landing airplane and I will be back to you in just a second okay and <laughs> I'm elder me on the camera and we can see and Airbus A320 of uh, Airflot now landing on runway 06 right let's see it's landing and uh, what do you expect from this landing will be it okay nice maybe hard I was right, this is an A320 and let's see the touchdown. Oh, it's smooth. It's very good touchdown. Uh, so, we're speaking about the special special liveries of Aeroflot. Doesn't Aeroflot uh, still have the liveries of uh, related to related to the football teams? I don't know the Manchester United livery. Uh, nobody, for example, I don't have still information about where is it. Uh, today I will try to make a community post about non-active uh, liveries of Aeroflot, maybe old ones, and including uh, Manchester. I will try to understand: is it still somewhere on oh. the ground, or sanctioned, or arrested somewhere? Speaking about the Manchester one, uh, that plane were recently repainted to the, the default Aeroflot uh, livery, and that one still flying around us. 
Yeah, it's a, I think it's a repainted and that's why we don't have a Manchester anymore. That's, sh that's sad because we have so many football teams. I don't know why they can't make a livery about Russian football teams. Okay, let's see the landing of an Airbus A350-900 that now flies from Tashkent to Moscow. It's just three years old and let's hear the sound of its engines and see the touchdown. So hello New Zealand and welcome to our channel. It's nice to see you back. It, it's uh, nearly 11 p.m. You are so early, uh, so far in the future from us. That's cool. How is the future? Can you tell us how is the future? Maybe everything is good in uh, in at your time, and uh, the earth is peaceful and the weather is fine and the future looks bright. Can you tell us? Oh, thank you for Wolfgang. Thank you for boy buying us a coffee. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much. We will check it from home, but we will enjoy this coffee on our way back home. I'm pretty sure because it's really, really getting cold. Thank you. Uh, thank you again for your support. We will see, we will check for the Airflot oldest livery uh, in our community world. Uh, travel trips into the world of liveries of Airflot or of airlines in the world. By the way, it's not only the one topic that we will cover in the community world post. Eldar, for example, he is fascinated by uh, uniform of flight attendants and he trying to understand. Uh, yeah, and he trying to get information for you about different flight attendants uniform around the world. I will continue, or Eldar will tell you right now about his idea. Yes, I'm going to make uh, uh, posts uh, for our uh, members, uh, for our members uh, of our channel uh, about. Uh, 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 retro uniform of uh, uh, some uh, airlines. Uh, now we're making a post be be uh, about air float. Let's see the landing of an um, A330. And after the landing of A330, I will continue. Okay, the A330 landed and I'm continue and you can join our membership and uh, on this week we will post a post uh, about uh, uh, uniform of Airflot uh, cabin crew. I think it will be very interesting for you and yeah, it should be interesting because, for example, because, uh, uh, this year is uh, 100 anniversary of Airflot, and uh, they are making a retro flight. I flew on this retro flight to Nizhny Novgorod, and I'm going to fly to Novosibirsk by retro flight. And uh, uh, there, uh, in cabin crew on this flight, 
uh, are in a retro uniform and it's very beautiful and uh, I will make a post for our membership members. I, I'm so I'm sorry Lord, for <laughs> okay. interrupting you. Uh, yeah. Simon, there is <laughs> Anton of An 124 flying fly by just uh, around Helsinki right now on the road to Kaliningrad as you told us before so it's near you man that's great and uh, Eldar as, as he, uh, you, you finished yes okay as you told us that you will try to under, to give us information about different flight attendance uniform that's great but we have three authors and i'm pretty sure well i know already that peter will take another topic to cover himself so three authors making three different community posts and it should be a really great thing for the aviation enthusiasts so if you can and if you want to support us just uh, join our membership level on the lowest level and you will see a lot of interesting information that we're gathering to you for you every day so let's let's continue our trip into the world of aviation uh, after this landing i will check what we have more uh, to wait and if nothing more interesting we will have to close our stream because airport wings from lisbon already waiting for you Oh, 757 e cargo yes. yeah okay let's see it's landing i think it will be nice it's quite rare here but it's beautiful Finally have a sun over here. Yes, that's fantastic. And let's see pushbacking of uh, South Wind Airlines going triple seven. And I think after its takeoff, we will we will check for the Bralot right now. If it's not okay. that far, we will wait for it, this one. But I'm sure that it's still somewhere. Where the hell is this? какой-то мистический, я его не, как не могу найти. А, ah, here. Yeah. Okay, the Bralot uh, or Retro Livery is in half an hour. I think we have to wait for this one. Oh, there is a Sukhoi Superjet with a special winglets. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to the Pocha. Okay, guys, write in the chat. Do we want to wait for half an hour more to see the special retro livery of Aeroflot. Uh, I I can tell you that I don't have a nice flyby of Aeroflot Dobralot yet. Uh, and uh, this position with the sun time sun can give me opportunity to make this. We will wait for this anyway, but with stream or without. Uh, it just because I pr promised that we have to go probably to to let you go to the Lisbon uh, because there is a, a, I think um, Simon uh, airport wings it's uh, Jose or Felipe I, I forgot who is who among them is the who yeah but that's great it's a sun thank you uh, cat planes thank you for support and uh, I hope you enjoy what you are seeing here in Moscow right now. Jose, yes. So Jose, I guess, uh, is waiting for you already for his play, uh, plane spotting uh, live stream. But I think, uh, Simon, I don't think it will be wet if we will stay half an hour more so we can see the Dobralot. And 
a cold day by filming the Dobralot as well. Yeah, well, Eldar, what do you think? Half an hour? I think uh, we will wait for it because we have a South Wind Airlines Boeing 777 here and I think in 20 minutes it will be departure of this airplane and uh, yeah, okay. I, I think we can wait 10 minutes Okay, we will wait, uh, we will wait till the Dobrolot because I still afraid that it was damaged or something, it was on the ground and I really love this livery so we will stay till the Dobrolet next half an hour and then we will finish the stream and redirect every one of you to the Lisbon for some nice rainy landings it's already going there and it looks like amazing yes, let's see the landing of an Airbus A320 of Aeroflot it's not rare here <laughs> because it's always flying <laughs> and uh, the mostly uh, part of Airflot's fleet is Airbus uh, A320 and 21 and Airflot has uh, 400 planes in their fleet By the way, I have a huge question for everyone that in the chat room. Can you tell us what what do you think? What is the biggest problem of all the plane spotters around the world? I know this question for me. Eldar, what do you think the biggest problem? Where? When you do plane spotting. The biggest problem, but, I think. <laughs> Weather. <laughs> okay, weather. Artyom, what do you think about the biggest problem for plane spotters? <laughs> I think the biggest problem of sport spotters. Uh, so the first one is the weather. As dang. there is the south wind approaching us. So uh, the biggest problem is the weather, but the second main problem of the spotters are the security Se yeah security and guards of airport ah okay for simon it's a fence uh wow. peter peter what do you think fence for the yeah fence is a problem for plane spotters for, that's true it it ruins the pictures and stuff Peter, what do you think before I uh, kiss uh, cat planes? Maybe you have an idea. What's the biggest problem for the plane spotters? Every uh, what I have in mind is different from what we just heard. Okay, wind for Peter and not being able to get close and not to the planes. That's true. But you know, for me, the biggest problem is that. When I'm plane spotting, when I'm standing near the airplanes, filming these airplanes, I always see them through the camera, not my own eyes. That's the biggest problem because I cannot en enjoy. I really can't enjoy the airplanes because it's only like in the TV. For example, I'm, I'm filming uh, S-Log3 and the S-Log3 is the special format that almost gray. Then I grade it uh, to the colorful. So I standing and I don't enjoy it so much. Volgan, thank you for coming. I hope you will be back to our channel uh, on the tomorrow stream maybe if it will happen. Uh, I hope it will happen because we have a huge plans for filming the not the mi morning but the midday traffic. Uh, Uh, let let me make it more brighter like this I think uh, and Wolfgang thank you for coming and thank you for standby choose choose Germany choose Deutschland 
I speak Deutschland a, 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 Deutsch a little bit. <laughs> I speak, I speak, Deutschland. <laughs> I speak Deutschland, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I learned Deutsch uh, English by Rammstein, <laughs> by, by Rammstein songs. Yes, so. And bis so. gleich, bis gleich, Wolfgang. Speaking about Germany, we also miss the okay, Lufthansa, the quite quite nice looking planes. Yeah, Lufthansa. Yeah, I re I remember. I still have on my on our channel uh, the video of all Lufthansa fleet and liveries. Uh, it was made, but not with our videos. It was just a compilation from videos I found on the internet. And maybe I will show it somewhere. Choose, choose, Wolfgang. Have a nice day. Uh, yes, you see, uh, cat planes. That's uh, that's of course a plan that sometimes it's great to just uh, focus on airplanes and uh, i was uh, happy enough when i was me and peter was on uh, skiatus uh, he did the most filming there and i was just enjoying uh, takeoffs and jet blasts and low landings and it was incredible you can you can find a lot of uh, videos on our channel from skiatus uh, including different airplanes and that was fantastic South wind, but actually I saw yesterday on flight radar. I think south wind from Hurghada. I I I just was uh, quite shocked because it's a Turkish uh, company, I guess. Eldar, what do you think? About I I saw south wind coming from Hurghada to Moscow. Hurghada. Yes. You can check it on flight radar for this morning or for yesterday yesterday evening maybe. It was the south wind flight. I don't know which one. Not, so not, the south wind one. is growing. This Turkish airline. Yes, Turkish airline. And yes, uh, Simon saying that he saw that too. South wind from Hurghada to Moscow. Okay. Or to Let maybe not see. to Moscow, I can't remember. I don't, As you I can don't see, this 777 has a bit damaged. Uh, tail, the painting on the tail is a bit ah, damaged. Yeah. I don't remember, but right now we have a landing. Artem, if you want, oh, you sure. can try, or you oh. take, or you take uh, photos of this. Yeah, I will try it. Thing. Okay, you can. T uh, okay, you'd better. <laughs> ah, Sharm el Sheikh. Yet not Horda, Horgada, but Sharm el Sheikh. That's that's true. But where to? To Moscow. To Moscow. But why South Wind? To show me too. Because South Wind is growing up. <laughs> Oh, Pobeda has special beautiful oh, livery. Yes, it's mineral water livery. Today we saw the takeoff of this plane and now it's landing. seeing a good old friend because in the morning it was departure to somewhere I don't know where <laughs> but right now it's back so guys we are waiting for one of the la last airplanes for today we are waiting for the special retro livery of Aeroflot and it's I hope it's already somewhere close let me check мистика какая-то опять я его потерял а это ah, should be already here yes. but there will be landing I guess yes before the takeoff of and Boeing triple seven of south wind we have a landing of 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 a private jet I think it's CRJ 200. Of Severstal? Or no? So. Oh no, I think it's an Embraer. 
private jet. Yes, it's yeah. private jet of Embraer. Quite way. Or, or Gulfstream. But I think Embraer. the south wind we have a takeoff of an airbus a321 of aeroflot from the runway 06 center and then i hope will be south wind point triple seven and the landing of uh, airflot's dobrolot retro livery yeah and consider to buy us a coffee if you like uh, under the link under any of our videos you can do this as well too for example Eldar loves coffee no no <laughs> you lie of course believe me <laughs> okay we have 37 people on board and let me tell you what's going on right now and when we will finish we will finish like in 20 minutes uh, because we are waiting for the special livery of Aeroflot uh, airlines and after this we will redirect you to Lisbon Airport for Airport Wings uh, channel for our friend that's streaming right now during the middle of the storm I guess so expect rain jet blast and everything with the water so as we told before we dream that uh, Marvel will do some special liveries with Aquaman so <laughs> Lisbon will be Aqua today but right now you see the south wind the sound of south wind taking off to Antalya let's wait hear it It's not aborted takeoff or something. Two days ago, we, we saw the airplane uh, went to the starting position and then just uh, oh, the driving. cancelled one. Yeah, the cancelled one. And we saw this uh, Rossiya 777 uh, with the fire on uh, the back. Burning KPU. Yeah. yeah, but not on the taxi. But it was flying. Uh, and I think on the video we saw some flashes. Mm. I, I need to check the yes. uh, video file so I can understand. Where is this uh, Dobrolot? <laughs> ah, here it comes. So, 20 minutes, guys. 20 minutes to livery, special livery, and to the fi final moments of our today's stream. We have 16.8 likes, and that's great. I think 77, 77 likes. That's so cool. And we have uh, 37 people on board. Let's make 777 likes, like a Boeing 777. Yeah, oh yeah, we would <laughs> love to have a 777 <laughs> likes. That, that's <laughs> true, that's true. <laughs> but let's let's try to get, for example, Anton of 124. <laughs> yeah. That will be fine as well. <laughs> or Fokker 100. What do you? What are? Uh, or at least illusion <laughs> 86. No, они будут здесь через три. Они они до добролюбных получается. We have an Armenian Air Airways coming our way as well, and that's quite uh, unusual for us because here in the uh, Sheremetyevo. Armenian Airlines uh, quite rare. Yeah, quite rare. In Vnukovo it's easier to catch and in Domodedovo, but here it's uh, quite rare. And yeah, they coming from Yerevan. We had somebody in uh, from uh, Armenia in the chat. If you're still with us, tell us, are you there? We have your friend coming our way. A 
I don't understand how Madeiro, how Pedro from Madeiro Air was sporting talking nine hours in a row <laughs> <laughs> because because he, he is really great because yeah. it's uh, well for me it's not uh, a problem I'm a school teacher I can yes, I can and talk and talk and talk and you can shut up me but uh, for regular people I'm not sure that it's easier to talk, to speak so much I think he did go away. Yeah, probably he 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 go went to the Lisbon. That's okay. That's nice. I I I'm so sorry that I can't get onto Lisbon because I have to go home. But Simon, <laughs> I will be back at home and I will start making slow motion movie watching your stream from Helsinki. I hope you will not have a security pro border control problem. <laughs> that, that's that's very strange. You know, uh, Simon uh, told us that he was playing spotting outside of the airport, mm -hmm. and the guy from the border control came to him, the one that checking the passports uh, on the, uh, in the uh, border crossing. The, uh, not security of airport, not police, no, but border control. He was bored, I guess. As, 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 he, as, he wrote, as he wrote, he had a mistake. He said that board control. Yeah, that he was board control. That's that's uh, that's true. Board control is uh, <laughs> that's strange. Okay, a strange, a strange situation. Yeah, that's a nice spot. I like this one, this place. Okay, what do we have in the camera? Oh, take off! Eldar, do you like it? <laughs> Tell us! <laughs> oh, the fake bird attacking the airplane! That's okay, we just are already tired a bit. Let's see the luggage. <laughs> oh. Eldar, can you show us please? There is a 777 on the... Um, on the right it's a uh, and probably Artyom saying that this one with the problem APU problem that we uh, it could be it that could one. be yeah it could be what what's on the sign what's it written you can see uh, yeah border, border, border control <laughs> that's true uh, I, I need a t-shirt like this mm -hmm. I, I already have a <laughs> the idea of having two t-shirts the one t-shirt is uh, chewing the gum and walking at the same time it's uh, my, my personal favorite from America from United States and right now from Helsinki Let's, I think it's a oh, box, royal, flight. A royal flight yeah and Close. from <laughs> <laughs> from Very Helsinki imagine. I will have a uh, border border control royal flight but we have uh, air friends on the Yes, on, on the cargo terminal yes, somewhere. Cargo terminal uh, was Air France. We still have Air France. Air yeah, they they still have the boxes of Air France. Yeah. Okay, merch. Yes, please. Yeah, we are we are waiting for the new uh, for a new logo type of our channel. Mm. Uh, we, uh, maybe it will be better. Like our yeah, logo. our is good, but maybe it will be just uh, with the. Mm. Uh, I want the the name ready for departure somewhere on it. So it's written ready for departure. The, right now there is no. No. Oh, there is an L67 on the right side too. Where? That's texting. Oh, yeah. oh, finally we have a little of uh, Russian aviation beside the Sukhoi Superjet 100. <laughs> so the engines are unpacked and there is a slight chance of takeoff. Yeah, of takeoff of this one. But they have to load, I guess it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I will be waiting for the it's to get uh, its cargo. It's pretty. It takes pretty long time, I, I think. Okay, this takeoff was to Nizhny Novgorod, and we have another. So ah, it's just took off. Yeah, I thought it's a landing of salt wind. Uh, my, my head is already. But Dobrolet is around the corner. Nine minutes, guys. Just nine minutes. Oh, and we have. Ah, uh, it's uh, to mineral water. It's not. Like, Stacy, speaking about the Royal Flight, there is uh, the, as I remember, the last plane in Russia that painted in Royal Flight livery, and this one is on the F terminal. 
of streaming at Hivo Airport, and uh, we also can see it. Yeah. R not not, not, not right now, yeah, but, yeah, but if we from, from the hill, I guess. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I guess from the hill, I saw I fly. Ah, uh, not I fly. Royal, Royal flight. flight. Royal yes, flight, yeah. yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's what happens with the bored plane spotters <laughs> after four hours of uh, <laughs> streaming. Yes. We need to make a, you know, uh, sometimes I'm thinking that we need also to make a, uh, a vlogging, a vlogging uh, of plane spotting, talking to the camera, showing some fun of what we have, uh, what kind of problems we have sometimes, because uh, to walk here, it's not that easier. And we saw, we saw the footprint of boar, I think, on the way here. Maybe. Uh -huh. I, <laughs> yeah, I, the kind, yes, of, kind uh, of big footprints. Yeah, it, it was quite big and I actually I don't know where the boar here uh, can be. But I still remember that, you know, I wasn't even thinking about when I was in Krasnoyarsk with uh, Peter and his friend for plane spotting that we can uh, meet a uh, Right now I will pronounce it right. Beer. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> beer. Not beer. <laughs> okay, my English getting better and better each time I'm making the stream. So we have... Yeah. <laughs> uh, beer after beer. <laughs> okay, we have a double lot. I, 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 no, no, not, not yet, but uh, almost... In almost. Seven minutes. <laughs> it's, it's already... I think it's already disappeared. Oh, not not disappear. It's there. It soon will disappear from flight radar. Emirates and uh, a to do to do. No, I don't think we have to wait for the seven 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 air float. It's a uh, we had a uh, lots of them today. Yes. Are there any? special planes no, after that no way uh, i'm ch uh, no I ch i'm checking there is nothing too bad you know uh, i i i don't understand why lots of airplanes of chinese or indian companies or even if you open they are flying over the moscow but not trying to land here to put the yeah, cargo or passengers quite strange thing I... that would be so cool for, uh, for us but to fly to Europe, for example. Vietnam Airlines going to fly. Yeah, to soon, Vietnam. soon. Vietnam Airlines, that's good. But I mean, for example, from Ch uh, there is an airplane from China to Frankfurt. For example, there is uh, Air India that's flying yeah. around us. And Consi just... Consider to take a, have a layover in Moscow, get the passengers from here and fly. That sure. would be so great. And for us, it will be much more diversity. But I think... Uh, that's that's one Air India is kind of scared of sanctions. Nah, I don't for, think they're scared. They buying the oil. The they buying oil so much too. I don't think they're scared. Mm. You could do funny YouTube shorts. <laughs> yeah, probably. But you know, YouTube shorts are uh, they are attracting the short auditory, uh, and it can uh, ruin a little bit the uh, YouTube uh, algorithms. So I I I don't think. But uh, the shorts right now channel. good, but we have a landing, Eldar. And we have another channel with Ready for Departure yeah, shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About shorts yes, you can subscribe it. on it and see the, our shorts videos. And now we can see Sukhoi Superjet 195 landing on the runway uh, 06 center. Right center, and I think my head was in the camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't expect that it will land on the center. Его вроде как на жидкоту вообще нет. То есть это консервант, который стоит с самого начала всего этого дела. Oh, this one, the tail we see right now. This one? Oh, uh, sure. Seven seven. Okay, it's a pretty. Yes, I remember. I repeat. <laughs> okay. I will check this. Seven three two seven seven, I guess. 
Okay, guys, I think we will have a Dobra Lot landing on the 24 Center. Optimist, hello, welcome back to our channel. And please, everybody, remember that after Dobra Lot landing, we are about to finish and uh, we will redirect you to Airport Wings channel for the Lisbon place spotting during the heavy, I think, heavy storm and rain. So don't forget, please not not to leave until we are finished and not to leave after because you will be redirected automatically to our friend Jose from uh, Lisbon. Hello, yeah, thank you for your support and coming. It's been already four hours and we are waiting for the last airplane. It's the special livery of retro li livery of uh, Dobralot uh, of Aeroflot. By the way, Dobralot is the first name of Aeroflot, I guess, yes. as I remember. And they gave, it's a very interesting story. Uh, hello, Johansson, J.O., welcome to our channel. And they gave the all rights to Dobralot to the Dobralot company. Before Pobeda there was a Dobralot and they, I think they were flying like two months or so. And after this they were sanctioned and then they had to change the name. And on our local uh, e-market, uh, hand-to-hand e-market, their security uh, instructions of Dobralot are selling for 50 bucks, I guess. It's pretty expensive ones. You mean Dobralot uh, safety cards? Yes, exactly. Dobralot safety cards. Uh, they are very expensive on the Avito, for example. Everything that we are not Russians, I think. <laughs> Most of the people think we are not Russians. Uh, Optimist, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, where is the Dobralot? I am waiting for this one. And I can hear something in the air behind the clouds. Let us check what's it there. Oh, we have a Russia. Oh, we have a Russia Superjet above us. It will be landing in 10 minutes. I think this airplane is Dobrolot livery. Oh. Okay, Dobrolot, Dobrolot, let's go. Guys, you have to feel it. It's uh, one of the, in my opinion, greatest livery of Aeroflot right now. Yes. Let's see an Airbus A320 of Aeroflot painted in retro Dobrolot livery. This is a very beautiful plane. If you like this livery, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel to uh, have notifications about our, our other live streams. And let's see. It's very beautiful. This was very beautiful. Okay, that was the retro livery of Aeroflot. Let me check, guys, the settings of the stream, so if everything is all right. If everything is all right with the direction, we will... 
Ah, we have an Armenian. Yeah, well, I'm checking. We have a last play airplane Armenian. Uh, it's quite rare here in Moscow, uh, in Sheremetyevo. So we have to to film this one for you, and then we will go. Armenian, just I think the next one. Yes, I think. На закате? Я хочу его поймать на закате когда-нибудь. Зимой, когда будет, она надо посмотреть зимой, где в каком месте садится. Зимой она садится вообще вот Очень странно, что рейсы не надо в пролете выполняться, потому что ред рейсы не надо в пролете выполняться. Очень странно. Окей, let me check the settings. Yes, yes, I have a direction. Everything is all right. So, we are waiting for Armenian air flight and it's on the horizon. I guess it's on the horizon. Yes. And then we Let's are check. finishing. Yes, it's an Armenian Airways Airbus A321 now landing on the runway 06 center on Moscow Sremetsevo Airport. This is our last plane on this live stream. And we're going home and hope to see you on our uh, next live stream. Okay, the landing was nice. <laughs> oh, this is a runway cleaning. Oh yeah, runway cleaning. And with this runway cleaning, we will tell you guys, we are finishing with our stream today. Thank you for joining us on this great uh, time oh Kerry Taylor hello hello from Milton Keynes England I'm sorry that uh, maybe I hope you were was with us for a pretty long time we are just four hours of our stream we are finishing with this cleaning of the runway right now after we will finish don't leave because automatically automatically uh, Yes, uh, YouTube will redirect you to Great Airport Wings channel for the live streaming from Lisbon with a huge uh, storm coming there and rain and jet blasts of water and everything. Thank you, Kerry Taylor, for watching us for a long time today. Everybody who was with us, thank you, Marnik uh, Goiton as well. Thank you uh, once again again and we are going home right now to make some videos and community posts and everything and tomorrow uh, i hope we uh, everything will be all right for our stream as well uh, but not early in the morning but we will start streaming after simon from helsinki sporting will uh, finish so it's around maybe 8 10 zulu or utc time uh, thank you again for your support for everybody who supported us by our your subscribing joining our membership and uh, leaving a comments uh, in chat and uh, hitting a like button buying us a coffee as well so see you next time on our live streams and in our videos thank
Thank you for coming. That was Alex. That was Eldar. And we had a help from our friend Artyom that makes plane, plane spotting photos. And I hope we will... Uh, Make a be, yeah, a little collaboration uh, asking him to give us maybe some photos for our previews because it's always hard to find a nice picture uh, for the preview among the stop frames they are not that good quality so see you guys and you will be redirected to airport wings lisbon just in a second bye bye thank you for coming bye, bye, -bye. see you